Hey folks, today's episode is sponsored by CarParts.com. CarParts.com is the smarter way to shop for auto parts. Their fast, mobile-friendly experience makes it easy to shop for the parts you need when you need them. Just enter the year, make, and model of your vehicle, start shopping, and start saving. It's that simple. They contacted me to see if I wanted some parts for my M3, and it was really great because my taillights were looking a little cracked and old, uh, the reverse lights, the same thing and I didn't have a cup holder in the middle of the car and that was a big problem for a couple of years. It was easy to find the parts that fit, they showed up really quickly and everything went in with a snap. Yeah, between the no cup holder, no radio and no tail lights, you really had a luxury vehicle there for a It was a, a performance while. vehicle. It was a track car <laughs> it was that super legera. Track yet. Exactly. It was super legera RS. Carparts.com stocks their own inventory cutting out the middleman and passing the savings on to you whether you've been in a collision, you're working on your project car or you just need to catch up on maintenance, visit carparts.com slash the smoking tire for 10% off of $100 or more on select brands. Get the right parts right now at carparts.com slash the smoking tire. We're also brought to you today by Policy Genius. It is a new year and it is time to make sure your home and auto coverage is similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. And the easiest way to do that is to renew via Policy Genius. Let Policy Genius look for a lower rate for you by comparing top insurers from Progressive to Allstate. It's so easy. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need. All you have to do is click the link in the description or head over to policygenius.com and answer a few questions. Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your search and help you understand your options. Then the Policy Genius team looks for ways to save you more money. And if they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they will switch you over for free. Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying before for home and auto insurance. Right? The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to offer unbiased help and advocate for you at every step until your cover. They don't add on extra fees. Policy Genius doesn't sell your info to third parties. And Policy Genius has thousands of five star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. So head over to policygenius.com to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save. We're also brought to you today by Valvoline. The original motor oil. Valvoline is, is is and can only ever be America's first motor oil brand. And for 150 years, they've been innovating, creating, and reinventing motor oil. From the very first high mileage to the first synthetic blend to the first racing oil, they've never stopped pursuing innovation to maximize engine life. And their latest innovation is extended protection full synthetic motor oil, which provides 50% better wear protection protection than industry standards and is 10 times stronger against oil breakdown. Valvoline Extended Protection is specifically formulated with dual defense additive technology, which combines an innovative additive boosted with a fortified detergent system. And you may not think you're a severe driver, but short trips, towing, extreme temperatures, turbocharged engines and heavy loads, or just spirited drives put extra pressure on your engine. And so, Valvoline helps keep your engine running long and strong, and the 150-year history uh, combined with everything they've accomplished in racing gives me the confidence that I'm putting a high-quality motor oil in my car. Uh, Valvoline is also the world's number one supplier of EV battery fluids, offering tailored products to help extend vehicle range and efficiency. Valvoline is proud to be the official motor oil of Hendrick Motorsports, and this year Valvoline driver Kyle Larson was crowned the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series regular season champion with nine wins and 2,000 laps led. Head over to your local auto parts store and ask for Valvoline Extended Protection Full Synthetic by name. Lastly, but certainly predictably, the moment we've been waiting for since September is finally here. Super Bowl is coming. 
in honor of Super Bowl 456 DraftKings Sportsbook, which is an official sports betting partner of the Super Bowl, is giving new customers 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5 and get 280 in free bets if your team wins. DraftKings has so many betting options and opportunities for me to win big prizes. It's the only place I will look in the sports betting market. DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in New York, meaning you can bet from almost a third of the country. If Sportsbook isn't in your state yet, play DraftKings Daily Fantasy Football Contest for Super Bowl 56. New customers can get a free shot at a $1 million top prize with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code TIRE. Get 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5 and get 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's with promo code TIRE at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56. 21 and over, minimum age and location requirements vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for full list of requirements and state-specific responsible gaming resources. Void where prohibited. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In Tennessee, call or text the Tennessee Red Line 1-800-889-9789. In Connecticut, call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat. In New York, call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY at 467 467- All right, folks, on today's episode of the podcast, The Throttle House is in studio. James and Thomas from The Throttle House are here. These guys are great. They're changing the game. They got a huge audience. They're doing massive numbers. They have um, some really funny bits that they do alongside their car reviews. And also, they are true enthusiasts, and we have a great chat about cars, what they're doing in Los Angeles, what they're driving recently that they like and dislike, um, and as well as how they got started, where they came from, and why they are so awesome. So it's James and Thomas of The Throttle House on the Smoke and Tire podcast. Um, well, what do you have next week? Uh, in two weeks, we have the F8 and oh. MC20. Uh, oh, oh! They're giving you the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Someone backed out. Someone backed out. So we got it. So oh, we got lucky. Yeah. Super. That's lucky. awesome. I'll watch your video. It's yeah. fucking great. That yeah. thing. Yeah. That like, that's quite a straight very... road you were on. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the thing is, we went to the event, which was at Willow Springs. The tra- yeah, so they had track time and they had road driving, and we couldn't just take it and go to like the road we liked. Sure. Right. We had to use the road that was around there and it had like I mean, six corners on it and what are you going to do? Sounds like yeah. Ontario. It was yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's what yeah. we're used to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we actually, I think I think Zach and I had that discussion where I was like, oh, this road kind of sucks and he was like, Thomas and James have a cliche corner. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, straight pipes. Oh, straight pipes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, the other we, we, To be fair, we, we do. We have like one or two corners mm. that we go over, drive yeah. back and forth yeah. over. You just got to make it look like 10 corners. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You're like, well, this back road is so amazing. No. Yeah. <laughs> There's another road that's right by that that's like... Monte Carlo rally where it's like really tight and technical but yeah. it's got gravel on it and yeah. it's kind of bumpy and we're like we might really fuck the car up doing this and we, we felt, <laughs> it was it's too a very, new very pretty car it's a very Ooh, pretty it car. is a yeah, great looking car yeah. yeah there's actually a lot of like really amazing looking kind of supercar things coming out we got the with the Amira and then the in this MC20 what was that? they just announced this the this new it's Gordon Murray T33. thing the T33 yeah, yeah so we were watching some of the some of the coverage of that today and it, yeah the more affordable Gordon Murray car. Yeah, right. Right. only 1.4 million, million. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. that's right yeah the only like i don't watch a lot of car videos on the internet but when they when the goodwood uh, Instagram account just started posting videos of that T50 fucking lapping. I watched that on repeat like that 50 sound, times. Yeah, that sound is unreal. That's well, crazy. I, I was trying to figure out, I'm like, what's the point of the T50? Because the T3. That. Well, yeah, well, but what's, the, what's it called? T30? T33. 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 Yeah. It revs to 11,000. 11, it's the same engine. It's the same, it's the same, same engine. engine. Yeah. yeah, it's tuned a little bit differently. It has more low down torque, it, it has a manual two transmission. Seats. Okay. Oh, the so 50 all other cars the, in the history. The 50 has a manual transmission, too. 
No, no, I know it does, but oh, like, yeah. but you save what is it like a million pounds? And yeah. you get essentially the same experience. Yeah, I mean, that's sitting in the middle though. That's sitting okay. in the middle. Yes, it is very. Look, cool. if I'll you've got that. enough money that it yeah. doesn't matter, yes. an extra million yes. to sit in the middle and have two bitches. <laughs> I mean, if, Gordon it Murray be, knows. It that mustache, James. Gordon Murray fucks. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be James and Greg for me. That's a, <laughs> yeah. it's, yeah. it's not going to be two women. Yeah. yeah, no, who am I kidding? Yeah. You could have two nerds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that is the life we need. Exactly. Have you ever driven a press car and been like, oh, the ladies are going to love this, except it's all just dude nerds that love it? No. Oh, well, we, we, we think, yeah, we, we see these cars like, someone will be like, I bet you get a lot of girls. Nope. Mm -mm. No, no I, nope. I rid myself of the notion that cars attract ladies a long time ago. No, they don't. It just, just doesn't just work. They don't. The only, yeah. way, the only way it attracts ladies is if I have my dog leaning out the window. There's a couple cars <laughs> that attract ladies. You want to attract ladies, and I mean this in er total earnestness, Hold drive a, a Morgan. <laughs> a Morgan? A Morgan. <laughs> okay, It doesn't matter if it has three sure. wheels or four wheels. You are the most charming man on the planet. With That's a fucking funny. Morgan. Do you need the goggles to go with? It helps. Yeah. Like a scarf. Like a don't hurt. Cap, maybe. Just hide as much of my face as possible. Mystery. Dude, I have <laughs> yeah, right. never in my life had so much positive, positive female attention as that Morgan Plus Four. The Morgan Plus Four really? press car. Oh, and you. I wonder if it's still around. If well, it is, it you guys try to get it while you're here. It's non-threatening, and it doesn't. I think people can tell you're not trying to like really say anything to anybody. You're not trying to say like I have millions of dollars or right. my dick is huge and I drive really fast. Yeah, but it's cool looking and yeah. it looks Gatsby, and they're just like, ooh, this it looks, looks fun. Yeah. yeah, this guy probably knows how to draw yeah. and eat pussy. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can what, share time, what time is this airing? We're so we're so PG compared to you guys. Oh, yeah, we are. Maybe yeah. that's why your views are so much better than ours. <laughs> 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 Maybe that, we we, we, we try we it. try and be we try and be a family show, but I mean, there's lots of innuendo and a lot of the jokes that we do, and we, sure. we still get people sending us emails. We're like, excuse me, could you please remove all I've the had innuendo? Your cold opens, by the way, are hilarious. They're so well thank done. You. Yeah. Thank you. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes. We, we, so, sometimes we go back and watch them. And we're like, what were we thinking? Yeah. Like, with that, that? what we've learned is if if you're not confident about it, make it short. A, a yes. one minute, a, good, a yeah. one minute thirty cold open. That's not good. It's just like oh, it's really it's dragging so yeah. awkward. So yeah. with, with the risky ones are ten seconds. I've had people yes. email me and be like, I try to watch your show or listen to your podcast with my five year old, and you said fuck, and I'm like. Stop torturing your kid, bro. Yeah. Put on some baby shark or something. What are you doing? Oh, I yes. got e make him listen to this. Yes. I, I got an email last week that was like, uh, "Can you can you stop with the innuendo?" My, my I watched this with my teenage son. I'm like, "Mate, your teenage son. Your teenage son. I've seen some shit. Like, he has a phone. He watches yeah. porn. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, buddy. your teenage son is cranking them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. literally, yeah. just jacking it, <laughs> just constant jacking it. Yeah, with the, with the Discovery Channel compared to what he's seen. So. Yeah. Innuendo, my teenage son. No, we, your we son is anything. streaming you porn every <laughs> second you're not looking, sir. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's got a VPN going. He's yeah, got everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even if he's 13, he's an enterprising young man already. Bro. Right. <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. Well, it's nice to have you guys here. It's nice uh, to thank be you. here, finally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this feels like a rite of passage. Well, now, yeah. he's been, James has been here long enough that he's probably tour guiding you at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, well, you're kind of like half living here now. I'm, you're fucking chilling in Malibu. It's yes, so yes. nice. It's yeah. nice. It's loud. I didn't realize that if you live on the Pacific Highway, you oh, are on the yeah. Pacific Highway. Yeah. <laughs> when you're when you're driving up, it's a, it's a, it says it in the name, it turns out. But I thought I was on like a quiet bit. Oh, no. No. We, uh, I went to an Audi highway, press yeah. launch once, and uh, it was for the RS6, uh, Avant. Okay. And it was at the Surfrider Hotel, which is right across from the Malibu Pier. Right. And we had a dinner up on the rooftop of that hotel. And the whole time I'm sitting there going, holy fuck, this is loud. It's really it's loud. so loud. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and, you know, you're, when you're driving up to Malibu, you're like, look at these houses. These things are dope. Like, this must be so baller. And then you, you're actually sitting there for a minute and you go, Fuck me! This is like well, really? park, parking is a nightmare, right? You like yeah. you're, you're pulling. I'm pulling like J turns to get off the highway, right? To just get slotted into yeah, a spot. Yeah, you right? have to move really quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get these windows where there's a red light. Yeah. On the other hand, though. How fun is car culture around here? It's a Brilliant. good time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is good. I will give you that. It is very, very good. Yeah, well, I, told you, well, I went to you, Good Vibes, and I saw you there. Yeah. Thomas hasn't done it yet, but essentially, it is. It was so unique, and I, I, I did a story that day about how. The Californians just don't realize what they've got, which is a bunch of guys 
meeting in the morning with all their cool cars, zooming up the canyons, hanging out at the top where there's snow. I didn't bring a jacket. I was cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plan for that. Yeah. <laughs> and you do it, need to have cold weather. He calls me. He's like, did you know that there's snow here? <laughs> well, I didn't like, call yes, you at the top because there's no signal for like three hours. <laughs> right, yeah. I told him you, could go, you guys could go skiing while you're here yeah. if you wanted. No, and I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was so intimidated by everyone's driving aggression that I had to follow you down and you had to hold my hand and we went well, slow. We had a nice drive. It was lovely. Yeah, we had Very a nice scenic. drive. Yeah, yeah, it was great. My Our way down is, is the better way. But I thought that when we got to the end you had taken us towards where we both live and it was oh, it was it was an hour to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, well, it was, but it was closer to where it, it was. It was closer. Closer to go down where we went down is you put you on a freeway 20 minutes closer than if you had gone the way you came up. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's That's still fine. fucking far. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That I the one thing I hate about the canyons is the drive home from them in the middle of the day. Do it you go every sucks. week? You do it every week? Pretty much, but most of the time we find an excuse to go up there really early and then film something and then hang, right. hang out at Good Vibes yeah. and then come back. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a good idea. We like to get out there at like 7, 6.30, 7 right. for filming. It's ace. That's nobody. Nice. Yeah, but then it's your road. There's but nobody you, there. But I always find when someone says they get up really early, it's like, well, what time do you go to bed? Because you're not this early as fuck. I suck. Okay, okay. I'm asleep at like okay. eight thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. No, I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, go, you, dude. My wife will be coming here and go. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. He's in fucking bed at eight <laughs> thirty. That, that's why. Yeah. I, people. That's, the more I talk to people, the more that's the t- bedtime I'm hearing among adults these days. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, hey man. How old are you guys? I'm twenty. I'm ten thirty in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You. It'll slip. It'll. You. You know. You're probably ten thirty, eleven. It, it, you. You lose a half hour a year until you turn forty. <laughs> well, we we film settles. early. We film early, so it makes sense to be on an early schedule. Well, it's easy for us to be on an early schedule here because our we're we kind stay. of in our time zone. Right? Yeah. We stay yeah. in our we stay in our time zone. And California is a real like outdoor kind of place, right? So people like it's sort of even where I live in Venice, which is like woo party like it's it's really like after sunset it dies pretty quick yeah there's not yeah there's not a lot going on at, at night because the yeah. daylight's fun here that's yeah. where the activities are yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but uh, but you but you it's pretty it's pretty good times, isn't it? It's great, and yeah. there's Malibu cars and coffee, and like you know, I feel like if I stayed here for a long time, I wouldn't go every single week to every single event, mm-hmm. or I would, but I just pop in. Like I love doing the Whole Foods run, <laughs> and then spending a month's rent <laughs> James on, loves on Whole a banana. Foods, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got scammed by Whole Foods though. What do you mean? Look, I posted to Instagram. Oh, <laughs> a scam! It's hilarious. I bought this thing. this wrap. And Zach messaged me, you saw it. I, I, I bought this wrap that had a sticker over the bottom half of the wrap. Uh-huh. And when you took off the you took off the plastic and the sticker was covering up where they kept the sauce, the wrap ended. It looked like, you know, instead of a finger, it was a thumb amount of wrap. Oh, it was, no it was way. like one yeah. half It was like a wrap sneaky cut in packaging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was brutal. And I got a bunch was, of messages. It was shrewd. Really? Yeah. 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 It was uh, pretty cool. I think it was $14. I think it was $14. <laughs> and I got, t- I got yeah. two types of messages. One, people telling me to go to Trader Joe's. Yeah. And two, telling me, well, it's not really Whole Foods then, is it? Oh, that's <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> that's that's a good, actually yeah. a pretty good pun. Yeah. yeah, yeah so Whole Foods, for a while, Whole Foods, and, and you guys just got here, Whole Foods is a shockingly expensive. And yeah. then you go to Erewhon. I, mean, Erewhon. I don't even know what that is. Right. Yeah, Erewhon no, no. is the Whole Foods for people that are too snobby for Whole Foods. Wow. And double the price of everything. Okay. Wow. And now they just opened in Venice. There's a place called Justa, which is spelled G J U S T A. And it's a it's like a it's like a restaurant, but they just opened a market. Okay. And the that is the most insultingly expensive. I just saw like a WTF Los Angeles Instagram from this place, and they have a bag of you know those big square ice cubes that you get in a nice glass of whiskey? Oh, yeah. The big, yeah. R- the square rock? Yeah. It was a bag of, of, I think, six of those, and it was $24. That's, that's water. Do they know that that's water? Yeah, but you don't know where the yeah. water's from. <laughs> so ridiculous. You don't know where they got that water. Yeah, it could be really special water. Yeah. It's, yeah. Hand, it's, it's hand g- hewn. There was one. Oh, it's uh, it through a Brita. Right, so it's it's Republican Gloss. Tears. G-L-A-S. They were like a sponsor of one of these events, and there was a bag of the big roundup. Ices and it was like four in a bag and it was twenty bucks. It was you can buy boss. those holders for like six dollars. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. Put whatever water yeah. you want in them. <laughs> oh man! That's so what have you been driving while you're here? Well, I, I was just saying, I was telling you guys, I, I'm a bit congested because I just inhaled a whole lot of dust because we were out testing the new WRX. And we found Apparently, it. in a manner in which it should be tested on a dirt I guess, road. I guess so. Yeah, we found it. It was a bit. This road, so like, there's, there's. 
what you want is smooth kind of gravel dirt to rip it, right? Yeah. This one was a bit rocky, but it wasn't like off roady enough that you'd want to go like rock crawling on it, right? Right. So that road goes to the it rock does. crawling trail. Oh yeah, trail. absolutely. Yeah, but that's yeah. definitely not made for WRX. So yeah. what we did anyway was just rip the WRX anyway on the bumpy road yeah. and it Press worked. Cars. It, yeah. No, we <laughs> protected. It. We protect. We put some PPF on it. Yeah, well, yeah. We had we had some track wrap. Yeah. We can. You we, did. As yeah. You really did. We yeah. really did do that. Yeah. God, that's like so considerate of you. It, when we're Canadian. We just uh, we we have to <laughs> apologize a lot. We do. We say not so because we're Canadian. No, because <laughs> I just hate apologizing to PR reps all the time for this yeah. and that. And I just was like, let's not add to that list. Okay. So we just yeah. So Expel has that that track wrap stuff, which is like cool. temporary PPF. It's great for we use it when we're filming drag races and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's sin. It looks awful. It looks like table over it but, but uh, there was so much dust anyway you couldn't see the car we kept trying to <laughs> kept trying to shoot it from the back and i was like did you get the shot and greg's like it didn't what shot yeah. it was just a cloud of <laughs> yeah. the good energy you're building dramas yes you're exactly there. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and no. what else have we driven the, did well, you, wait, wait did, before did you like the wrx okay so yeah uh yeah it's a spoilers for our episode because not coming yeah not yeah out we'll, yet, we'll, we'll we'll share a few nobody things. listens to this show <laughs> <laughs> I told my mom to stay up. <laughs> she's, she's in England. <laughs> she's going to like me. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's yeah. probably already tuned out. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. The WRX, I, do, I did like it. I didn't think that it was that different to the previous one. It no. felt very similar. Yeah. I thought the ride on the road was crap. The ride was awful, and, isn't it? And, and the steering But did it get better on numb. the dirt? Yep. Yeah, it, it, could take, it didn't ever bottom out. It yeah. just kept taking the it's impact. Like an, it's like an actual rally car. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. And the MVH was bad on the highway. Mm-hmm. Very yes. bad. Like, they didn't like improve we that enough. We were shouting because yeah. we've got, we've also got a Bentayga S. Well, we had, that's not fair. Well, we, but we, <laughs> we, yes, we, I, we, to we be fair, back to backing those is not. Yeah, I was like, to, I was talking to Thomas in a whisper in the Bentayga on the way home. He's like, I can't fucking hear you. <laughs> I literally like, couldn't hear him. I was just saying the NVH is bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a it's a good little car. It does exactly what it says in the box. It continues to do that. Still and nothing. They can. got rid of the rev hang. So that's yeah. a oh, thing. Oh, yeah, I guess it did rev hang a yeah. little. It didn't rev hang when we had it. Yeah. Like the, yeah. like did you feel like you could rip the shifter right out of the console? Because I felt like the just, shifter was very flimsy. Goopy. That, I said goopy is a good goopy. word. That's like every Subaru shifter, though. They always feel like you're, you're like, yeah, until you get sticking the SCI. a twig the into SCI a box of rocks. Ones are good. They'll like, get the short shifter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're good. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it was fine. It, it, it was felt like a Subaru. It had yeah. that, that startup noise that gives you absolutely no confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, this wasn't a video. It didn't start for the, the second morning. It cranked for like a minute. Really? And then finally. What do you I, think I that's see a, what do you think that was? I don't know. We couldn't, had no idea. No lights left on. Nothing was fine. Never did it again. But oh. it just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> weird. Okay. I blame there, you. You had it before. <laughs> does it, was it the one we had? The same blue one? I think the it was the same, same one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was. It it was as advertised, basically. Mm-hmm. For the money, yep. it goes pretty fast. And yep, no, nothing does. else does what it does for the money. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Have you done GTI yet? Because we get we get GTI on Friday. Yes, we've done the GTI. Or, you know, today's Friday. We get GTI tomorrow's Friday. We get GTI on Monday. Okay. Yeah, we did, we've done the GTI and the R. And the R. Yeah. We have the R after that. So yeah. is would you rather a GTI or a or a WRX for the same money? It depends on where where I'm living. That's the idea, right? If here, so, GTI. Yeah. How much I'd, is the R here? Golf R? Based, oh. I want to say the last 40s. one was 40. It's in the 40s. I can't I think remember. Okay, because in Canada, a, we get a crazy yeah, deal in a Canada. A well spec WRX is very close to a base R. Oh, and that's, really? That's, that's no, a, question. no question. No question. Why is yeah. that? I don't know exactly. We get the R for a good deal. I think they really. just figured there is no market for it if they don't price it that low. Uh. So, yeah. We get it We get it in Canadian dollars for what you get it in US dollars. Oh, well, that is a, that is a good deal. Huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same is true for Are some other cars. Are they very popular up there for that reason? They're very there's popular. There's a lot of R's. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Stinger GT as well, also we get oh. for a deal. Our, lo- our oh. local track does, you know, track days for different, one of the track days that always happens at Every couple weeks is like the Wolfsburg Club, and it's just uh. all golf bars. Huh. They'll tune them yeah. and everything, right? It's, yeah. it's just it's, it's a day of DSG farts. Couple yeah. little bolt-ons yeah. though, and those little those things fucking rip. Oh, they are quick. They go like yeah, a motherfucker. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just put that rear Do you sway know bar the, on. So they turn. Uh, the one we get is sticker auto. I don't know. That's I don't. A good I have, someone asked me because they were interested in buying one, and they were like, "Are you getting the sticker?" I don't. I don't what know. was I ours? Know. Why can't I remember? Was ours was that we had a manual GTI. And a that's why. Automatic yeah, car. One was I think that's how I'd like to. Get them. That's, yeah, it's felt, in the past, I've preferred the DSG and the R. Yeah, yeah that's, that feels like what it's meant yeah, to if be. If you can, if you can somehow find a way to get along with the infotainment, you'll you'll dig it. Well, yeah, that's just don't true. touch it. Just you, you try know. not to touch it. Yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah, it just feels. Like it just stops being a no-brainer upgrade from the Mark Seven Point Five. That's it's not. Mean. It's not a no-brainer. It's yeah. still good, but 
I think the goal far is far superior this time around. I actually think it, you know for all the 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 kind of crap that people give Porsche for being so incremental with the 911. I think the the Golf is even more incremental than the 911. But even, from one even generation this time? to the next. But this time they changed a lot with it the with the lot, interior yeah. at least. I, I haven't played with it. Yeah. I, I, uh, the everyday driver guys brought one. I sat in it for thirty seconds. Uh, so I, I it did look a little different, but yeah, like yeah, and it's not that different. Yeah, if you're going from golf to golf, it's not going to feel like a different car. There's yeah. just a few things missing. But I thought like I thought up. the ID four would That's come along real or an HVAC knob. <laughs> yeah, these, these are these They're are all, a lot of people are making that crime though. I moment. know, but it's a big yeah. problem. No, it's it is. Flag. It is. It's a, it's a problem. It's, yeah. it's a problem. Honda started with the lack of volume knob. Honda, but they changed the, it back. Yeah, they went they back did, we all complained, back, right? Yeah. And they're like, ah, you're right. And then and everyone's like, hey, you remember that thing that everyone complained about in the Civic? We should do that, not the fix. We right. should do the initial thing that everyone hated. <laughs> it's and like the supplier did. for that went to Ferrari and everybody else was like, hey, we got these touchscreens that no one's buying. We're real cheap. And everyone jumped yeah. on them. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Ferrari, Ferrari just uh, AliExpressed like a tablet, and that's what they've used <laughs> for theirs. It's not good. <laughs> it's not, I'm sorry. Well, if you think those touch buttons are bad in the Roma, you should try them in the SF90. I don't want to know. I mean, well, it's, we've got the F8 it's, it's the, the F8, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the F8 has the old shit. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah, the F8 doesn't have that. So the F8's perfect. The F8 is a 458 with turbos on it. Isn't that what the 488 was? Isn't the yes. So, this is, so the F8 this takes, is, this is the piece to stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah, it gets a lot of pista. Ooh, it's basically fun, pista fun, fun. with. Okay. A, with Did you a, like with, it? You like the F8? I, I, yes, objectively, yes, I did like it. However, the one I drove was four hundred and it was. I drove a spider. I don't. I never drove a coupe. I only drove a spider. Okay. It was four hundred and seventy thousand oh. dollars, and the experience was not fundamentally different. Than a four five eight spider from eight years ago. But those aren't, that, aren't those still worth four hundred or something? They're still ridiculous. They're probably in the twos. I mean, and they're and they're worth it. They're honestly, you, if you spent if you had to spend two twenty to get a low mileage four five eight spider, it would feel like a two hundred and twenty thousand dollar car. It, yeah. it feels great. Yeah. It yeah. looks great. It made very well. Well, just the regular four. Is, I think it's one of the best looking cars That's ever fan, made. It, it's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and I got a bunch of them here at Westside. Mm -hmm. Like over the over the second half of twenty twenty and the first half of twenty twenty one, I had five or six customers wow. that went out and bought five, four five eights. Yeah. Um, question one of my favorites. Yeah, question They're for you then. Delightful. Two twenty. Would you get? A used 458 Spider or a new MC20? Ooh, now that is a tough question. Probably the new MC20. For yeah. the same money. That's interesting. A big, that's, a big that's, thing. Probably, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It, okay. Well, because it, it, it's just as pretty. It looks different, but yeah. it's, just, it's, it's, even, very it's pretty. Yeah. fucking it is. pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's a carbon tub, which even it's an F8 cool. still isn't. Yep. And you can tell it's really fast. Like, yeah. and not in a digital way. Okay. Right, Zach? Would you agree that MC20, really fast, but not not in a digital yeah, way? Yeah, no, I mean, it feels like, this is not a very good descriptor, it feels like a car. It doesn't feel like a computer. The steering's pretty communicative. It moves around corners, especially over bumps and stuff. Like, you feel like you are driving the car very much. It feels, and because the interior is so simple, like, yeah, I think it, 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 you don't see a lot of the computers. It doesn't have a lot to offer in terms of that, so that makes you feel like you're really operating it. I think the sound is kind of eh. So like if I was, sounds kind of eh. It's hard to compare used cars versus new cars. But like four five eight is, I mean, it's not bad. It's a song. Yeah, yeah. it's so, very very nice. Yeah. that'd be hard. Yeah, it's tough. But I'd probably I'd probably go MC twenty. I think at this point. Interesting. Okay. It's a very lovely thing. I'm excited. It's, I'm excited to drive it. Yeah. You get it for a couple of days. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got yeah, it for four yeah. days. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, we only got it. We got it for like an hour. I mean, it was very very brief, and, okay. it, and it was nice to get it at all. I'm happy to make yeah. a video, but like. Yeah. I can't. They said that they'd circle back in in a month or so, and we could take take one more home, time. But, yeah, yeah. But I think like actually using it as a car will be a really nice. I was mm. what was actually really shocking to me was that it was so comfortable. Really, it was comfy, properly comfy. Okay, it's nice. You got my hopes up now. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. It's yeah. fucking good. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting good. like price range because especially for new cars like the GT4 RS is going to be under that. That it will. Yeah, yeah. and that's going to be a nuts car. But that's not going to be as comfortable on the street. That thing's going to beat the shit it out is, of you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the regular GT4 yeah. does that a little <laughs> it's bit right, already. Beat the so, crap out yeah. of you, I like dude. the pain. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do. It's going to be gnarly. All right. Well, I guess MC20 goes up against 911 Turbo then. In that sense, the daily perfect right. car. Right. They, they, if you ask them, and they won't, they won't tell you. Yeah. The class is McLaren GT, R8 V10 Plus. Um, uh, what's the fucking other one that I'm blanking on? Uh, Zach, help. What? Oh, Huracan. 
Huracan? obviously yep. Huracan. Yeah. And it's roomier than a Huracan. It's prettier than the Audi. And it's just as it's probably faster than the R8 and more interesting at this point. Huh? The R8's okay. pretty pretty damn bulletproof. Did anyone point. buy the McLaren GT? I feel like I've never seen one. I've yeah, seen a couple, but not a lot. Yeah, not and you live lot. you live in the place and where I they live would be. in the place where, where you'd see them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't a bad car though. Did you guys have a going one? No, we never no. tried it. No. It's a pretty good car, but yeah. underneath, it's clearly sports series underneath. Yeah, um, it's neat. That that trunk is neat. It's it's fine. It's yeah. it's not it's not a bad car. But once you've driven a seven series McLaren. You, you can't go back from that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just drove a 720S. Oh, yeah, you drove Misha's car, I drove right? Misha's yeah. 720S. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then he drove me real fast. Oh, boy. Misha is uh, yeah. he's aggressive. He, he, drove, he, drove me to, he drove me to what I felt was the absolute limits of the car, <laughs> especially on the canyon, you know, facing certain death. You guys, you and guys he was drive like, these cars so fast. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I used Misha to misbehave here. Yeah. Yeah, he drove I know hard. the I know the road really well. I won't cross double yellow lines. Mm. I will not invoke ABS or trash control ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, as long as you stay within the, yeah. If I, those are my rules. No crossing double yellows, no ABS, no traction well, the basic, control. The way I see it is, like, especially if you're in like a mid-engine, rear-engine car or something, if you get into a situation where you have to panic lift and yeah. it would cause a spin, you're probably going too fast yeah. on the mountain road, right? Yeah. And those these cars are so insanely fast that you can, yes. you can if you are driving in a smooth and controlled manner, you can go insanely fast staying on your side of the road, staying you're within at, the limits of the car. You're at death speeds in yeah. a couple seconds. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah. Didn't you enjoy it? <laughs> it, was very, it was very good. It was very good. Although I'm, I'm still not certain, and I spoke to Misha about this, if I, if the V12 of a, of a Lambo Aventador wouldn't be enough to, to suck me in still. But then the pricing is is less for the 720. So Yeah, and the gearbox. And the d- double clutch is wonderful. Yeah. I, I do not like the single clutch in the LFA or the Aventador. Yeah. I don't like the... <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good impersonation. Yeah. 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 It gets old pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, but I mean the upshifts and the downshifts in an LFA though are just okay. Fine, I won't include the LFA for the sake of being killed. But the event <laughs> door, yeah. it does feel like that's missing in the event door. Yeah. So I was very impressed with the 720S and- But all the backup in the event door too though, like that, those, those upshifts are so violent. I, yes, but for cruising it, it fails. Yeah, they're also cool. violent when you're cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They well, can't unviolent. They can't. No, Correct. yeah, exactly. It's always violent. Yeah, yeah. like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hard thing is the McLaren. Good. The 720 is so good at everything. Like it's a good cruiser. It's comfortable. It shifts smoothly. And then when you crank it up to race or track, like it shifts super fast. And the steering's amazing. I mean, it, yeah, the me, steering, the, the steering of McLaren, I couldn't believe the steering. Really, really, really yeah. good. What was the one that 600 L? We tried very briefly a 600 LT. I did a couple laps of 600 LT, yeah. and I, I thought it was really good. Yeah. I like was weird about that car, though. I thought it was slow. It felt slow to me on the track. Really? Yeah. What, what did we have on the track that day? I don't remember. Probably some... Oh, the BAC Monos. Oh, <laughs> we wow. Well, that was there with the BAC Monos. You, you just got out of a BAC Monos. He's like, this isn't a very sharp car. <laughs> <laughs> Gets out of the belly. The WRX is really noisy on yeah, the track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the issue. Yeah. Listen, this, this is what scale happens. Folks. This is what happens, yeah. <laughs> you get out of a car, you get into another one. That's why you got to try and reset. Yeah, what's, reset. what's your palate cleanser, you know? Yeah, like, Dude, what's, it's what's tough, the ch- man. What's the piece of cheese for cars, right? Yeah. Get back in a Corolla for a minute. I get in my mock. E and I'm like, you uh, know, I, I, I like that know. car. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah how are you getting like on with it? It's a great appliance. Yeah. It's not an appliance, but it's a delightful it's appliance. It's absolutely an appliance, but I would love an appliance. It's a I have I just hit seventy six hundred miles today on That's it. Nice. I got the battery lower than I've ever gotten it. Oh. I got back from Riverside and I had seventeen miles on it. On the battery, it's as low uh, as I've ever gotten. Were, you, on the were edge. you paranoid? Huh? Were you scared? No, the math has always been honest with me. That's it. As far as it, yeah. so I was like, okay, you've got. You know, I had to drive 75 miles to get here, and I yeah. had 80-whatever miles of charging. That's fine. Have you yeah. tried the other stuff in that price range, like the Ionic 5? and the- I haven't yet. I really would like to okay. try the Ionic 5. He did an ID4 and hated it. Yeah, um, so everyone seems to hate the ID4. Yeah, yeah. I have no interest in it. Um, I've driven the you know the Teslas, and and, yeah. and um, what else? We're missing one. I haven't, we haven't done Rivian yet. We've got that in the Rivian in like uh, three weeks, I think, four weeks, yeah. which seems mm-hmm. exciting. You guys like the Rivian? You drove it in a blue R1T. Yeah, we drove, we've we been driving it for half an hour. Yeah, we do. Oh, you just got it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Barely cool. any time. Uh, but it is, it is very cool. I are mean, they going to let you off-road it? They want you to. Yeah, they, they, seem they want to. us to. They, they want us to. to, yeah. So go to the road we sent you to for the WRX and yeah. keep going, and there's yeah. mad trails up there. Yeah, yeah. we might do that. Yeah. 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 Is it, so when you get to the end, you go to the right? And then so I'll tell you exactly. There's a trail that we use yeah. for all of our off-road shit. It's sort of a constant. And... 
the the really aggra- the really good off road stuff like like the G five fifty or the new Defender or uh, what the Bronco, Bronco will get up it pretty much no problem. Yeah, but I also like barely got up it in like a Velar on small wheels. Okay, it's a pretty good. It it's it 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 looks more intimidating than it is, but there are proper obstacles and you could you could break something. The if first you fuck section up. you have to be very careful. Yeah, and then after that you can kind of most of the but trail has like three different you. choices. Okay, and you nice. Can kind yeah. of go easy, medium, medium plus. But but we hear such good things, things about the R, about the Rivian off road. It's supposedly yeah. well, it's, it's the quad motors, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it can do it, any wheel you want to do a thing. It can do that thing, so it just can dominate anything. Mm-hmm. The issue we have with the off road stuff is, from a filming perspective, it's very difficult to yeah. make it look aggressive. Yeah, and the off road community. A very um, well, I know exactly. Knowledgeable, <laughs> knowledgeable, yeah. oh, that's knowledge, no, passionate. That's the word. They're passionate. passionate. Yeah, and communicative. Yeah, and yeah, uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly Vocal. what you mean. Yeah, basically, we've discovered that you you have to break the car while filming it, or you have yeah. not off roaded hard <laughs> enough. Yeah. And then we we, <laughs> we dunk, that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, we dunk the new we dunk the Bronco into like this. Big puddle, and we, we didn't know that the we didn't we probably broke all the off road rules. There was this big mass of water. We had no idea how deep it was, and Thomas was like, "Go in sideways so that it tips in and looks cool." <laughs> I'm like, because so far everyone's going to be saying my ca- my Camry can do that. Yeah. I'm like, all right, so I'm like, let's see your Camry do this, and we went so deep. And, and like, I, I, he, I'm like, bow wave, bow wave, bow wave. Really? <laughs> You're gonna and, drown so, me and so I just I got through, and then Thomas was behind me in what did we do against the Wrangler? The Wrangler, Wrangler oh no, yeah. was I in the Wrangler? I can't remember, but Thomas was in the other one, and it was it looked was, even was deeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was it was scary, and everyone was like, was "You like, guys shouldn't do that." Yeah. <laughs> but but then but then it's up a real until, yeah. until that moment, you pussy and whoa, yeah, yeah exactly. whoa, yeah. Up until that moment, they're like, oh, "This is my commute to work." Yeah, it's like using someone right. else's shower. Yeah. It's like, either hot my, or cold. It's, it's my grandmother does this to come see me every evening. Dude, like, the number of people that have told us that an XV Cross Trek will get up the off road trail that we use exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, I tried it in a Macan. The Macan didn't make it forty feet. The yeah. Macan was like, oh, fucking hell no. Yeah. The PDK took a complete dump. <laughs> yeah. and I had to reverse Stuff's out of there. That's overheating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And okay. we thought about trying it in the, in the um, Outback, Wilderness. Outback Wilderness. And it was like, pff, fucking hell no. We yeah. drove yeah. to the really, beginning of the road and we're like, no. No. Yeah. He just turned around. He's not going to do Sometimes it. you just got to leave that to someone, another channel. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone else can break yeah. some yeah. shit. Yeah. TFL can do it. We yeah. did the yeah. Outback Wilderness on the road where you did the WRX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Actually, there's a little rally car in, in yeah. there. Yeah. Outback yeah. Wilderness is pretty nice. I have yeah. tried it. I think grand. I watched yeah. it. You, guys, you called it the Outback of Outbacks or something? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the Outback Outback. Yeah. 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 No, it's yeah. it seems like a cool little car. But yeah, we're trying to decide whether or not, like most people are going to drive. Everyone's off road to the Rivians now. We're trying to figure out. Should we just drive it on the road? Yeah, like 98% know. of the owners will. Yeah. Fucking mob it up the canyons. I haven't seen a canyon review yet. I mean, it's a canyon running it, yeah. Is it quick? It could be. It's, it's real quick. It's three really seconds and to 60. And is very yeah. communicative. And it so weighs 7,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah. That's what the world needs. Yeah. Really. yeah. I mean, why? Well, the Hummer's 9,300. I know. Yeah. <laughs> The Hummer is just, is America where, where, is so where, embarrassing that? sometimes, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, God, are we the fucking, we're the worst. Like, well, well, save I'm, the planet with a 9,000 pound <laughs> vehicle. Dude, if I'm getting a salad, I want bacon in it. So yeah, it's exactly. like, it's an EV, but well, that's, it's But what's the bacon? Truck. What's the bacon for a Hummer EV? That's because, the Hummer size thing, in my opinion. Right, but someone who wants a Hummer is being loud and, you know, what are they going to have to do to compensate for the silence? Are they going to throw things at people? Yeah. To still be a Hummer <laughs> guy? It's a Mario Kart, right? No, but I think that's why it's no, so No, you're big. just more, you're more, <laughs> you're more environmentally aware than a than a Tesla Model Three owner. Uh, like okay, you and your pre, your Prius isn't as I'm the most aware. I'm the most aware. <laughs> the yeah, most, you're just the catching you. Yeah. You know who the most famous person? The you know who got the first. Hummer EV in Los Angeles. Was it LeBron? Ashton Kutcher, dude. Oh, Mr. Uh, fucking yeah, crunchy granola. That sounds about right. Tech yeah. investor. Oh, oh, yeah, he's on the Shark Tank stuff, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, credit to Ashton Kutcher. He plays stupid people on camera, but is actually seems like a pretty smart guy. He does seem, yeah. It's but, true. like, yeah. what are you doing, Ashton? Fucking stop it. <laughs> you need to be Larry Daviding this bitch with a Prius right now. Well, yeah, Larry David yeah. switched up. He's got the in new curb. He's driving an e-tron. Oh, is he? Yeah, because it's brought to you by Audi. Well, he went. No, he went from <laughs> he went from the Prius in the early episodes to i three. Oh, did he get an i three? And then okay, he's now yeah. he's got e transport back. Honestly, Larry David should get a lot of credit for 
making the Prius. Yeah, he's like, like hey, uh, he's like, I'm he almost a billionaire, and I'm driving he had a first gen Prius. Yeah, he was driving it on the show. There was a whole episode about how all, he loved his Prius. Well, he also did an episode about how the Tesla horn is too loud. <laughs> And he gets in trouble with the police because he just tries to do a gentle honk. <laughs> yeah, you need to have that polite honk. Yeah, he hasn't got the polite. Hasn't got the polite one. What was the? Oh, there was a the my Volt. Do you guys ever drive a Volt? No, Wait. we've driven a Bolt. There's the Bolt. The Bolt. No, the Volt no. is the hybrid one. People right? love the Volt now. It's yeah. become legend. Fucking Volt. Well, because it was the best car ever fucking made. It was marketed badly. Nobody yeah. understood it. Yeah. It was. It was I, I have never been happier with anything I've ever bought in my life than I was happier with my Volt. Did I never hear the you talk about this one. It had a regular horn, a honk honk horn, but if you hit the end of the blinker stock, it did a, a little trill, like a cat, like a thr, thr, like because it was silent and and it, they wanted to give it a polite honk. Excuse uh, so me, you I'm could honk through. honk or go thr, thr, in case it, a pedestrian didn't see. Yeah, you. yeah, and it had a really polite. Like trill, it was like a very that friendly. Just be on more yeah. cars. Like, it was yeah. genius. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Rivian <laughs> does a tweet like a chirp when you lock it. <laughs> it's actually it, it is a really nice little. It also says yeah. a tweet of that you've locked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah there's a lot of tech going on there, and we, like even getting here today, we were quite late. And there was a phone call. I want to talk about that in a second. You were okay. Canadian yeah, late. You were late by like 11 minutes. But according, not an LA according to the Rivian, though, we were like 15 minutes early. And the, <laughs> the time to go there stayed the same. And the time arrival just kept going up. And we looked on Waze and Google Maps. And they all accounted for the delay. But the Rivian doesn't have Apple CarPlay. You can't use Apple CarPlay. Because it's so good at doing what it does. Oh, fuck same me. as the Lucid. Same it's with the Lucid. Tesla. They all do this. You can't, this is so stupid. They, it's so yeah, annoying. They it's, think that, you know, their, what's the phrase? Their proprietary stuff is. Yeah, shit don't stink. That's the one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, they believe they're proprietary. And it's not yeah. as good. It's not as good. And, and, yeah, and, and yeah. so we were late and I didn't trust it anymore. We had to tell the Lucid people, like, I was like, is your GPS based on 4G? And they're like, sheepishly like yeah i'm like you guys because we're up in the canyons and yeah. i'm like let's look at the map and it's like blank yep oh no and i'm like you guys yes. what have you never been up here before like what are you doing yeah, yeah. tesla was the same thing yeah. i drove the model x up in the fucking canyons oh let's check out the nev oh you can't find me what good is this fucking in car yeah. nav yeah, yeah that stops being a gps at some point and also <laughs> i haven't figured it out because it's only been half an hour but there's only for the regen if you're not used to regen, there's only standard or high, mm. and the standard is very aggressive on the Rivian. Same as Lucid. So I'm I'm driving along and I'm like, it's basically one pedal driving, and I have no choice. And I Lucid, nuts. I feel like had a setting that was much more usable. Yeah, there was a you, on the Lucid. Regular was like mild regen, yeah. and then aggressive was like holy fucking shit. So, so this breaking, is this is breaking, aggressive yeah. and really aggressive. Oh, and yeah. I, maybe I haven't found it, but it says standard default, and it's it's aggressive. Hmm. So, but it I'm probably getting more. Range. I still I still can't get along with regen. I've tried so many times. Like I know oh, it's better, blah blah blah. I just can't. It's a I, weird timing game where you just lift off the throttle and you're like, I hope I stop in time for that light because yes. you're just using the one pedal and it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's just trust. The Mach yeah. E regen is pretty good right until you start getting close to a car in front of you, and then the emergency braking is really aggressive. <laughs> it's the emergency braking is hyperactive in the Mach E. I don't like that. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah. All, all of this is just I annoying just amounts that. of software calibration. Like just Give me a brake pedal. Yeah. I will do it. But that's Porsche. I mean, that, that's yeah, Porsche. Porsche fair. is pretty I, much I don't, I don't mind the low speed reverse emergency braking. If I'm in a car park, mm -hmm. I haven't seen the pillar. I haven't. I'm close to that car. I don't mind it doing it then. Yeah. Or when you, or when you accidentally uh, flip it into reverse, uh, thinking. That it's dry. This didn't happen in real life. Definitely not. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. about 20 minutes ago, yeah. I, I five minutes into I tried, I it. parked in a space in the Rivian and I got close to the car behind, and then we just noticed it was a taxi rank only or whatever it was, and I went fuck this, and I and I just put my foot on the oh floor boy. thinking I was in drive. And we just went, ooh. Oh, shit, really? <laughs> and it, it was it's so stock, close right? to being the quickest I've ever no, wrecked no, no, a person. No, no, no. oh, the, 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 the reason you did it was because I, what happened, I think I, I think I figured out what happened. You wanted to signal to get out, and you hit this side for some reason in your brain. You want to turn the signal yeah. on. And like, then you were like, oh, that's not it. Yeah. And then you hit the signal. I don't know what happened, yeah, but it was hilarious. a bad, bad brain fart. <laughs> it's, dude, it can be very... Um, when you're getting in a bunch of different new cars, oh, it yeah. really takes a few minutes to get your bearings. Yes. And if it's like, all right, switch keys. All right, let's go. And you mm -hmm. get in the car and you're like, oh, hang on. I don't know how to do shit in this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I, need to I need to sit here for a second, figure yeah. this out. It can be very intimidating. Even stuff like the keys. Like I have the, this is the Rivian card. Oh, God, I hate the card. And, and so the, the actual the key card. is really cool. Thomas has it. 
But the card I was trying to unlock. Ooh, let me see that. It's it's very rock climbing. <laughs> this is an REI carabiner. Oh, yes, <laughs> every exactly. everything about oh, Rivian is. Oh shit! Look yeah. at that. Yeah, it's literally. A it's carabiner. all very REI. Oh, wow. Can we? Where's? Uh, go to go to camera four. Is it camera? There camera? you go. Look at this. This, that is excellent. It's cool. <laughs> it's so that you can clip it to your climbing harness when you right. when you when you hit the crag. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, no, you're, you're gonna send. You some make sick fun, roots. but that is yeah. very good design. No, it, oh, absolutely. It really it is. is. It is. Yeah. But they're very much leaning into the lifestyle. Of that, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, little it's a little bit cringe. It's a little bit cringe. This yeah. is great when you, yeah. for, but yeah. you're not at the crag. You're at the climbing wall on Abbot Kinney. A hundred percent, you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, exactly. It oh, and it's rubber on. Can't it slide it across the table. It makes the key bigger than it needs to be, so that if you put it in your pocket instead of on your belt loop, you're like, well, why do I have this extra material? Yeah, yeah. That's no, but I, I actually am very into that key. I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that better than having. A little ring. Yep. Nope. I like yep. that better than yep. having nothing. Yep. I like it better than a card. That's excellent. The cards are stupid. I hate well, cards. Ford wants me to use my fucking phone. Here's get this. Model year 2022. Guess what? Mach E's now come with two keys. That's just 2021, funny. the Mach E only came with one actual fob because it, they only wanted it to be for like emergencies. They wanted you to use the app. Right. Me and fucking everybody else out there yeah. hated the app because it sucks. That's it. And I don't want to unlock my car with my goddamn phone. Yes. And I went and spent money at the dealer. Oh, no. And I bought for $400. I bought a second fob. Oh, That's how much they cost. Of course. Fine. Whatever. I'll give you my money. But now a second fob is standard for model year 2022. So at least they're learning and listening. Yeah, yeah good. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's annoying, man. Let's talk about you guys for a minute. Okay. Your channel is awesome. You Thank have you. a fucking enormous audience. I chatted with James up on the hill about this. He said he started 11 failed companies and one successful one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But I mean, this isn't that one. This is the this one isn't after that. that one. This is the one after that. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how did you guys decide to... Get together, start making videos, do this. What's the story? Um, well, I mean, I was already making videos, um, maybe badly. Um, and then James found me and it's like, hey, your videos are bad. I can make them better. That's not true. I have had one successful company and 11 failed ones. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the most recent one was the successful one. That's so what's most important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If but you yeah. were in LA, you'd have one successful one and then 11 failed ones after that. Yeah. Well, that might that might be you know might be one of those uh, words that you read backwards the same as forwards. So <laughs> after this, it's all... Yeah. 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 It's um, where are. Was it palindrome? Palindrome. It is. Palindrome. That's palindrome. It. It is. Nailed yes. it. Kind of sucks that they didn't make that word. The, a word that can be I mean that would have yeah. been yeah. that's yeah. really cool Sounding like race car yeah. yeah oh there you go that's right um, but yeah so Thomas Thomas was already running the channel I think he had about 17,000 subscribers and uh, he, he was good at doing the stuff he just it was just a bit too much of a mix so the audience didn't know what they were watching and I didn't want to be on camera I just said hey I'm going to come help you and I just finished with my previous company and uh, and then I met him, and I'm like, "You're yeah, funny. You're we, going on camera. Sorry, buddy." <laughs> and I was yeah. like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm yeah. good." And then we did a few, and we binned them. They were terrible. They were pretty bad. Because yeah. one thing you don't realize, if you've never been on camera, if you speak completely normally, you sound wooden. Yeah, you sound mm -hmm. really boring. Is that extra? Yeah. That you just have to crank at that extra ten percent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they were really boring sounding. Yeah. And then and then after that, we had some fun. I'm very it. lucky that I speak like on camera in regular situations. Yes. <laughs> well, well, yeah. So but eventually, I was born eventually this we do. Way. Yeah, like, yeah, we do now. Eventually, yeah. We, like, we enunciate words more or whatever, right? You just <laughs> yeah. by by chance. Well, when we first started doing voiceover, right? I had to be like, okay, like over enunciate your words, like yeah. to a degree that you sound like an idiot. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. This is the model X. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like you have to, Radio you have voice. to, you have to go really over the top for it to sound not boring yeah. in voiceover. Right. But yeah, it was just that we know we just started filming cars and putting them out there. And the, the ideas for the sketches did come from you. I don't know what why why I thought it was a good idea, why I agreed to do it, or where you came up with it. But he shows up one day to a shoot. He's like, hey, I wrote this funny little skit. Like, we're playing characters. Absolutely not us at all. He's like, why don't we just film this dialogue? And I read it, and the script was hilarious. And I was like, all right, this sounds funny. So we shot it and uh, and put it out. It was, then, it, was just, it was an attempt to just not make a car review every yeah. time. But what, yeah. annoyingly, it, it made it so that we had to do it every time. Yeah. Which, is, yeah. which has been a, like a blessing and a curse because it is quite fun still to do. And when the reactions are good mm -hmm. and people love it. Oh, we love doing it. It's, it's, it also gives us a chance to, to, to film and, and write and do stuff that's not just cars. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like usually it's car related, obviously, but we get to just kind of do comedy yeah. as well, which is, which is fun. It also, sometimes it allows us to reference certain things that we otherwise 
otherwise wouldn't be able to do in quite a fun way. So the IS500 we did recently, we I went online on their website to, to see kind of how they portray the car, because that's kind of, we always try and see what the angle of the manufacturer yeah. is. And we, we saw this shaking camera and every single shot is shaking. So like, like, fake, okay. like fake post-production shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so intense. Yeah, so we right. were like, why don't we parody that? And we, and we did. And then one of the, my favorite ones was the Huracan. Uh, STO mm -hmm. oh, yeah. has a VR page, oh, sorry, an AR, augmented reality page, on the Lamborghini website. And on your phone, you can, in, it's really cool. And our Lamborghini rep didn't even know about it. But you can, That's good. you can change the size of the car, you can put it on a table, you can put it on a bottle. Oh. So yeah, so you, sc you scan that with your phone and it will put a Lamborghini. Oh, and they'll, yeah. they actually, no, at the press launch they did tell oh, us did this. They? Remember did this, they? Zach? They showed we went. Zach and I went to the the press launch for this. They told us this. And you can you can enlarge it. You can go inside the They'll car. They'll put it. Inside it'll the put it wherever the fuck. Really yeah. Cool. So yeah, we yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we they had. Told, a, they showed us this. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it's blue on the augmented reality. But we right. had the I can't remember the name of the red. But we had like a matte red uh -huh. STO. And we put the blue one next to the real one. And then I get in the fake one. I'm like, oh, augmented reality, so cool. And Thomas is like, yeah. And he gets in and drives off. And I'm like. What the that's so, that's yeah. very funny. You were yeah. in the NFT one, as it turns out. Yes, yes. Exactly. yes. Yeah, exactly. Which yeah. is worth millions more. Yeah. Yeah. Millions. Non-functioning transportation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Very good. Very that's good. good. Yeah. Nailed it. Well, Zach we found our, our first ghostwriter for sketches. There he is. So, You're hired. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, you so, you so, on the fly that one? That's pretty that good, Zach. Yeah. Non-functioning transportation. I workshopped it for a couple weeks. We should make a We should make a t-shirt out of that. So this is my moment. This is my moment. That would actually be like, what if we sold a fucking NFT? T of a car and it was and that's that would that's funny. Yeah, yeah well that's what that's, 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 that's what like the Cybertruck's gonna be. That's a Cybertruck, yeah. 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 <laughs> God damn it. I, it makes me so well, That's I what's mean, funny. I'm looking at the Rivian stuff and people are like, is this the Cybertruck killer? I'm like, no, the Cybertruck is the Cybertruck killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. Nothing can kill it. Oh my god. It's it must so exist. Funny. To be Elon <laughs> Musk has only seen Total Recall and Spaceballs. Those are his only two movies. Well, I'm yeah. looking forward to the Roadster, which was supposed to be 2021. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's coming out in 2019, bro. You yeah. just missed oh, it. it? I'm so okay. excited. You just yeah. It was it. so quick. It's, a, it's, <laughs> it's just it gone. So, Point 0.9 yeah. seconds. It was so quick. You paid for it, and then it was gone. Yeah. It was, it was gone. fucking great. Yeah. That Mar uh, Marcus Brownlee dude fucking made a video shitting on the fact that he paid for a roadster. <laughs> did he? Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's like, where's my goddamn roadster that I gave you money for, you yeah, asshole? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and remember, you got you could get one if you fucking sold a bunch of cars for them? Yeah, yeah. there was one of the one of the guys who heads up the, <laughs> the Tesla group in Ontario, yeah. up in Canada. He got so many referrals that he won two. He had two. two. He had so, two so one pays. So he's These are IOUs. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand. That's a Tesla Roadster. You're going to hold on. Yeah, good job, yeah. Mr. Salesman. Here's yeah. all your free. It's like six hundred thousand dollars of commission. Yeah. theoretically. And then they have to have volunteers help deliver the cars that come in. Dude. Yeah. they can't pay for people. Yeah. It's, so it's very great. strange. It's a very strange world. It's very easy to make fun of. I try to. <laughs> it's very. It's just amazing how yeah. promises are worth more than building and selling things that people want. And the bill. Yeah. Yeah. Is, the build quality is still an absolute flop. Oh my flop. god, it's amazing. Even on the new ones. I tell people, people ask me all the time, how do you like your Mach-E? And all I have to say is, it's like a Tesla that's actually screwed together properly. And yeah. that's that's all you have to say about it. We yeah. really like the Mach-E. We, really took, it. Uh, we did Chris Harrison here the other day, and I drove him um, to dinner afterwards in, in my Mach-E. He got in the car, and he just goes, this is so nice. Oh, do they not have it in England? Uh, maybe, maybe it might yet. just be arriving, but okay. he hadn't been in one yet. And he starts touching shit, and he goes, "Mate, this is fucking nice." I mean, yes, <laughs> yeah. it is. And he goes, you know, "Is this B and O? This thing's got yeah, it's got that stereo, sound, that that sound, bar, sound bar, the sound yeah. bar, yeah. yeah." And he he pulled up some track he's got that's like the Star Wars theme song, Symphony or something. Is that his test? Starts, well, he's, he's got, an got audio a file, he's yeah, got yeah. an audio test. And he starts yeah. fucking. He cranked it to full. I couldn't hear for like a day. <laughs> is it is it good that sound system? Because the one we had, we think it was broken. Oh really? Yeah. I think it yeah, did. It did, yeah. and so we didn't comment on it because it felt broken. It felt 100 oh. broken, and it was, it was a bit. It was. Weak, I think it was a no pre yeah. Oh really? Oh no! Yeah. I mean, it is it good? It's not the best I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah. For a fifty-two thousand dollar car, it's, yeah. it's more okay. than acceptable. Okay. So ours was broken then. Yeah. Ours was yeah. broken. Okay. Feel, fucking have at it outside. Yeah. 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 Right out. yeah. What if you if you want if you if 
I mean, if you guys want it for fucking anything, take it. I don't give a shit. It's yours. No, no, it's all good. We're, we're, we're going to test them. Well, James is shopping for an EV. I'm so shopping he, for one like that. Yeah. yeah. So, I've tried, so tried a few good. of them now. I've tried the Ionic 5. I've tried the Mark I e. really would like to try the Ionic 5. It looks yeah. fucking cool, yeah. doesn't it? It looks so good. How much is that? Yeah. In in Canada, it's 59 minus 5 with the rebate. So okay. it's, it's like in the 40s. And probably. is that for a two or four wheel drive? That's the all wheel drive, drive long range. All wheel, wheel drive long range. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mine is a rear wheel drive long range. So, the, yeah, so there is a rear wheel drive long range Ionic, and it does more range. I think it's like 480 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles, but. I don't either. I have personally 300. done 300 miles in mine. What okay. You, Oh, as a, as a full range as test. Full trip, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did yeah. 300 miles in mine. So I like, think it's the no same. Worries. I think it's similar yeah. in the Ionic. Yeah, yeah. The Ionic is, it, it looks amazing. It, it looks look, great. But it's yeah. so huge. Same with the EV6. They're massive. They're yeah. both massive. And yeah. and in the pictures, the in EV6. In photos, it's misleading, right? Yeah, they both look like little hatches. Yeah. And a lot of people think that the EV6 is better looking. But it's it's so big in real life that I think actually the proportions of the Ionic 5 work better. Mm-hmm. And the Ionic Five, it just it just doesn't drive. God, that Ionic Five looks it looks amazing, cool as yeah. fuck. But does it not look like a little hatchback? It does. Yeah. It does. Yes. It definitely it is, does. It, yeah. it is like an SUV. It's got a longer wheelbase than is the, it bigger than, than the Palisade? Yeah. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. It's a, it's a three th- it's a three meter wheelbase. Yeah. Really? It's, yeah. It's huge. Oh, it is. No, a, that's yeah. weird. Oh, there's one. Ne- is that a real one next to a human? Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's he's real. standing way. He's in standing the in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird. That photo is weird as hell. But yeah. Yeah. Well, like, look at Doug's, if you see the bottom, the related oh, images. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can tell Doug's yeah. from across. It's Holy big. shit. Yeah. Yeah, a, and Doug is like 6'4". But yeah. it's, but it's tall, yeah. It's like a limo in the back. The seats really? recline. The, the seats that recline, they slide wow. forward, they go way down. It's and, really cool. And in, cool. The, front, the, cool. in the front, there's the, the center console moves back, so you have all this leg room, mm. which a lot of people associated with roadhead. People jump to the roadhead <laughs> thing all the time. That no, looks great for roadhead. It's like, a trope. It's a trope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, good for you. Getting yeah. off of, I, you know. <laughs> when I drove, just drives the whole thing. I'll be guilty. When I drove the Rolls Phantom with the starlight ceiling, I call that roadhead mood lighting. <laughs> so, so we did. So we that was one of the uh, more funny ones. We did a in, the, in the ghost. That was the ghost. Yeah. In the yeah. new ghost, we did a, a sketch where um, Thomas says, "Isn't this nice with the with the starlight?" And I was like, "Yeah, just you know, I wish I was with a nice girl." And no, I was a shooting star. You wished. You oh, wished a, upon I, wish, a star. I said that the as a shooting, shooting star. Yeah, yeah. So, he, so he wished to be beside. And a then girl. suddenly there's this girl sitting next to me, and I go, "It worked." Yeah, and that's... then the girl goes. What, what works? And it's, it's his <laughs> voice. <With> my voice. <laughs> so it's like good. this. That is fun. Yeah. It was fun. It's fun. So those are like most moments where that we get to shooting show. star thing is cool. It's it cool. Is I mean, really not. When you talk about stupid shit, but that's luxurious, that yes. be like, that like got a real me. wow that got moment. Me. Yeah. I oh, was there. Like, okay, guys. Yeah. It was. Too, yeah, that's awesome. The first wins. time I yeah. experienced a star field ceiling, I went, "Whoa, this is fucking cool." It's and then really they go, nice. "We can do the the sky above your house or a constellation." They can do any constellation. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then they showed me the fucking shooting. Star and I went. Oh my god, you yeah. guys are so smart. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it feels I like know. the Peter, Peter Pan ride at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, it does. It just feels magical all the time. Yeah. But you're right. It's a fine line between the thing that makes it feel luxurious and it's just stupid. Yeah. Because I, I like the tweeter that spins out on. Is it Mercedes on the? Oh, yeah, the, on the ones that lift up. No, the ones in the uh, drivers in, in the, the doors, in the doors that, like spin that spin out when you turn oh, the sound yeah, system on. Yeah, yeah. So there it's are such things. A piece of show. I, I'm I love to, it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of things that don't. Well, the ones is it Audi with the the was it a BMW? Oh yeah, they pop up. The ones that you. UFOs that yes. pop yeah, yeah, up, yeah. those are pretty cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 that kind of stuff is pretty, is like whimsical, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, but there's some weird, like, quirks that go on, like the Bentayga, for example. The When you hit the window switch, it this takes a second. so weird. It, it, it's, and, and you can yeah. tell it's on purpose. It's a luxury thing. You press the thing and it goes, now your windows will drop. It's like this, it's a genuine one <laughs> second delay from when you put, push the button. Well, when you hit the button, a tiny person in the door has yeah, to roll the windows yeah. for you. Yeah, those, he yeah. says, wait, it down really quickly. Yeah. No, it is it's, it, it is absolutely on purpose it's, because it's, there's no way. It's going to be the same tech that's in whatever yeah, route you're Yeah, it's redundancy right? yeah, yeah, for yeah. the sake so, of luxury. Yeah. It's like you're probably yeah. not in a rush to get cool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Also, it's like a boss movie. You feel like, oh, I'm going to put the window down. You just click it and you look over here, and then the window goes down behind there you. you it's like, cool guys, don't look at explosions. It, yeah. it, it feels really cool. I get it, but I don't at the same time. You know what I mean? It seems but I've dumb. never <laughs> seen, I've never felt ever cooler than being in a car with the shooting star ceiling. I mean, that I it think is. that might be. As far as like stupid kind of luxury features, well, it's, it's, it's like, so unique because wow. so many luxury cars drive similarly, or they and they're quiet inside and mm. they're fast and whatever, and they're expensive. But like 
that is something that only they do. So it really does set them. Well, people do it on a level. But I feel like people do it with their Chrysler three hundreds in the aftermarket. (laughs) That's different. Well, you want to hear something kind of funny? There's a guy who we had as a member here at Westside, and I absolutely will not send his name. But he bought a Rolls Royce, and when he brought it here, the Starfield ceiling was not on the quality that I'm used to from. And he found out when he took it to service that the previous owner he bought it used. The previous owner had an aftermarket Starfield ceiling oh, no. in it, oh, which is no. silly because the real one, the they, the men put the yeah, <laughs> in, every it. individual, yeah. 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 And it was it just didn't look right. And he he said that when he went to service and they told him this, they showed him what a real one was supposed to look like, and he was no. like, "Oh, that's so fuck. unfortunate. That's so unfortunate." <laughs> yeah, and he oh. was so upset that he fucking dumped the car immediately and yeah. bought another one, same color, same, wow. ad, like, almost identical That's car. That's a boss move, actually. But that had the <laughs> that real was, one. Man. Yeah, he just, he, he was so ashamed to have the yeah. not real one. No, yeah. Rolls is genuinely wow. on another level. Like, we've we've been lucky enough now to drive on, I think, almost all of the kind of big luxury limos. Yeah. And Rolls is, like, they're all here, and Rolls is just a full... Chunk Dude, above. a phantom. A phantom. Nothing is, compares to a phantom. It's like Nothing. sailing. It it's is not even like driving. You float. It's wonderful. So great. It's we, and we, and we, it's we had massive. We here for like a week. I think we had it. I think it's our highest viewed video. Is the phantom? Yeah, we had over it phantom. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. seven and a half million views. Get the fuck out of here. And it was one wow. of our first LA trips. And, and we had this phantom for like a, like at least five days. I feel bad. I feel bad. Traffic and traffic. Turns out they gave you a phantom for a week, and it was worth their time. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. But we 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 originally came out for a. Passat, a VW Passat launch for the 2020. It's a Passat, James. What's a Passat? <laughs> Passat. Yeah. I'm the, sorry. the sketch was about this. We, the sketch was. Where's about Chris Harris? Like Where's Chris Harris when you need him? I'm, <laughs> I'm outnumbered here. He'll yeah. be out of good vibes tomorrow. I'm gonna <laughs> come and give him some shit if he says Passat. Hundred percent. He says Passat. Really? Yeah. You think so? Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, we'll, you, I'll, you ask him I'll for I'll video us. that shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, anyway, yeah, we, yeah. What were you talking about? You were Phantom. Phantom. Just that was where we came out on the pretense of a VW trip, and I, we just organized a Phantom because a Passat is not worth flying to California for. I'm sorry, it's just a Passat. Oh, yeah. Passat. Wow. Poor form, Rookie sir. Okay, move. Come on. It's almost like you've no, never been on a podcast. Nobody ever before. calls me. I have no reason to turn back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe bet. Just leave it on. Yeah. yeah. That's um, funny. Anyway, speaking of calling Zach, um, when you, Zach messaged me earlier, because we were communicating on Instagram, mm-hmm. you told me that phoning you would be a better, better way of getting Oh, God, here we go. And this is it, so yes. funny. Um, and you sent me a number. And then you sent me another number, but I was driving and I just hit the first number. number. And and this, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that you had done a correction for the second time you sent it. Instantly, by the way, I would like to say. Instantly, I know you yeah, did nothing so wrong. He, he immediately clicked on the right, and then this, yeah. this, this, this girl answers. She goes, yes. hello. She goes, hello. And I go, oh, hello. And she was like, who's there? And I was like, <laughs> either. She had the most, like, c- comical, like, over-the-top <laughs> British accent we've ever heard. She was, like, mocking me immediately, and yeah. I was like, like, I was like, okay, maybe Zach's like fucking around, and, right? you know, I don't know him that well, but maybe he's just, like, immediately building rapport. You and and, and James goes, he, James, he's, he looks at me, he's like, this is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, and this is, like, no, so I, yeah. Zach. I went, I went from confident to... Oh my god, this isn't Zach. The look on his face was so priceless because uh, she's what, 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 you, you're like, I think what I'm hearing like, right I've, now is the worst British accent I've ever heard. And she goes, amazing. I'm sorry, I don't understand and you. She, she was like, she, and, and she was he, like, he, he looks at me and he goes, Oh my god. <laughs> he's, she was like, I think you've got the wrong number. And I was like, And you're like, I think you've got the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I look at my phone, I, see, up. I look at my phone, I see the correction. I was like, Oh my god, so I hung up. And then I call you and you're like, Hello? And I was like, yeah, oh, that's, 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 yeah, that's, the yeah. sweet baritone of man. <laughs> that's amazing. Dude, and when you called, you were like, I, I just tried to call, and I have a story for you. My brain was like, what story? You called the wrong number, and now you called the right one. I'm like, yeah. what, yeah, what that's is what, possible? I, just, I, was a, I was immediately mocked by whoever this was. <laughs> oh, dude. That's fucking incredible. Yeah. It was so Ma- did it come up as a Toronto number? Maybe they thought they were getting a spam call, and they were just... It did. It came up as Okay, Toronto. so they probably Toronto, thought I was yeah. some sort of sales... Yeah, so and then funny. they started yeah. right into a, to a good news. Your student loans have been reduced. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> not in this, that's not in this country. Thanks, Biden. Yeah, not, you have the power. That is really funny. Yeah, well, my girlfriend's American, and it's just like it's a, a, a yeah. yeah. He really fucked everybody on that yeah, deal, huh? Yeah, didn't he? she's got a lot of loans here are crazy. I can't get over it. Yeah, yeah. America's dumb as fuck. 
Mm. It has its Weird. moments. It has its mm. moments. I mean, look, the, the sunshine you guys, is you free got sick here. In Ca- yeah. Sunshine yeah. is free here in California, but yeah. our, our systems are mm. stupid yeah. piled on top of stupid yeah. piled on top. It, of it stupid. is interesting, and I, you know, because obviously I love the weather here, and I love I love the vibe actually. But I don't. I'm not sure I can live in America. And I just I honestly say to Thomas all the time, why can't Canada just buy a strip somewhere. <laughs> so, so that I, just I, a bit of I, don't, I don't mind getting on a plane as long Dude, as I land in Canada. Yeah. Like oh Monaco, you just drop a little bit. I of would love yeah. exactly. So we have monopoly money. Everyone says Canada sorry. Beach. Right? I, uh, there was a time apparently. <laughs> Tur- yeah. Apparently, Turks and Caicos wanted Canada to to be, become a Canadian really? colony. Yeah. And I'm like, that would be nice. And it just I don't know what's happened. It hasn't happened. Like reverse colonialism. Like please yeah. buy us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we want some poutine and yeah. maple syrup. That'd be nice. I love Canada. I have a great time every time I go to it's Canada. A, it's I a great place. Really nice it people. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just know. cold. It well, yeah, cold. that's a for half the year. It is very cold. Well, yeah. that's usually why I go there to ski. I do. Fair Fucking but you can ski. You can ski yeah. here. Yes, I can. You can yeah. surf in the morning and ski in the evening. I told you that, motherfucker. Right. Yeah. Uh, a wise man <laughs> yeah. once told me. Yeah. You, yeah. The well, we, we you know we have mammoth too. Mammoth is like. Colorado level skiing, but it's yeah. like a four hour drive yeah, from here. I mean, it's pretty good. No, no, we're saying, we have opinions. It's it's dry. Dry. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty goddamn good. It's oh, you guys are starting to talk about moisture good. content of exactly. snow now. That's what yeah. you're doing. Okay, Speaking of mammoth, by the way, yeah. we saw one. A what? I'm sorry. sorry. Not a woolly one. <laughs> uh, we we were driving along. We saw the mammoth Hennessy TRX. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Uh, there must be what four of them. Was in it the black? World? It was black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There. You know, I think that might be a an actual press vehicle. Oh, oh okay. really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, Mike it's... Harley from uh, uh, Auto Blog was was driving it recently. Okay, yeah, maybe that was, that was cool him. Spot. I was yeah. Like, oh, and it says a thousand. It says a thousand. It's a thousand. That thing, right? Is that it? Yeah, because yeah, so, yeah. someone said that yeah, thing. someone said a TRX wasn't enough for them, and they were like, All <laughs> "Yeah, right, you know what that truck did not need to be is more powerful." <laughs> Zero to sixty three point two. Yeah, eleven seconds. A quarter. thousand sure. horsepower. Yeah, wow. I mean, you know, that's that's what Texas is. You know, Texas that right is, there. Texas oh, I lived in Texas. Yeah. I lived in Texas for a year. Did you? Yeah, where? I went to Texas A and M. The fuck out of here. When really? I was a student for an exchange year. Yeah. I they exchange uh, in places where there's white people? Yeah, well, no one believed I was English because the, the student body of Texas A&M is 96% local. And the rest are like Saudi Arabians who are clearly from Saudi Arabia on like an oil engineering thing. Uh-huh. So for me, they were like, all right, mate, shut up. You're not from England. And I was like, well, now I don't know where to go from here. And that was half of my experience this, at Texas story, A&M. These stories you tell from that place are funny. Yeah. You'd go into like a wherever and order, order a water. And they just absolutely oh, I ordered, flatly did not understand. Yeah, so he had to go water. Yeah, I used, I used to say, "Can I have four waters?" I'd order for my friends, and I, they would deliver me the four horsemen. And I was like, "That I don't. I've not nearly experienced enough to order the four horsemen." What is the four horsemen? It's is that the, a thing? Yeah, it's the. It's, I think Jack, it's the whiskey. Jim Beam. Yeah. Oh, something really? Imagine Corvo, asking for four waters. I must have looked fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Liquid is liquid. Yeah, right? yeah, they yeah, must yeah. have been like, "Wow, this t- this legend is just coming in ordering the four horsemen." <laughs> So I was like, this is great. I would still love some water. <laughs> yeah. some water. Why, did, why didn't the other students believe you were from England? Like, you say hi, and they were like, Because nah. they've never seen someone from a different country in their life. Yeah. 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 They thought so they were like, you look like me, so you should, you're from here. That's exactly. Yeah. 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 It's a real Jews have horns kind of thing. Yeah, talk yeah. About. yeah. Yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. You know, and I tried to find Jesus. The whole time I was there. I talked to people, <laughs> I I talked to see people in the, the last 18 months that have never met Jews before. Like, I've literally yeah. had conversations in 2021 with people who've never met fucking Jews. We like, hide. <laughs> are you the tribe? Are you I, the I, tribe? I was, I was, I, well, I don't associate much with religion anymore, but... Well, I don't either, but I still... The yeah. best part about the being Jewish it, is yeah. you really just have to call yourself Jewish. Beyond that, you don't have to do fucking anything. Yeah, well, I, had a, I had a bar mitzvah. Did you? Yeah. When was your bar mitzvah date? Fuck. You don't remember there? It was. Oh, a, you're it not was. Really Jew. I, I, I had the longest <laughs> half I mean, Torah. That was all I know. The longest? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It took, it took me ages to learn it. Well, I remember when they why did you that, agree the to that? lottery and it was terrible. It's like based on your birthday, and all of us they were told us when the longest half Torah was like based around this birthday, and all of us in the room that didn't have that one were like, Whew. and the, and the kid who was like, oh shit, that's mine. Oh, that sorry, right. man. Yeah. Yeah. I made it that, very that, clear that, that, that I was only prepared to learn a certain amount of Hebrew, so I probably only recited maybe the first third of the actual. <laughs> yeah. If you ever just don't want to have to care about Judaism anymore, learn a long half Torah, and then that's I'm done. I've done all of my life's worth of it. Yeah. And now I'm done. I have did no you, idea you, what you guys your, are talking about. After your, <laughs> <how far laughs> like, there's a Rubik's Cube. When you have a bar mitzvah, which is your 13th birthday, yeah. 
it's a fucking thing. Right? Yeah. Like, you become uh, a man. You become a man. Right. And they yeah. make you read from the Torah. Okay. And a half Torah is that, the Sorry, that's an Torah. interesting point of words. They make you read. That's what they do. They While make telling you, you it's an honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. They make you read. And uh, and and that's your the Haftarah is the part that you read. That's your okay. Torah portion. Got it. Yeah, kind and of. I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like confirm. What confirmation is the Catholic version? I'm yeah, gonna get this wrong. The Christian and there's, and there's no vowels in. You right. don't. You can't read the vowels, but you're supposed to know the vowels. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn. Imagine learning it's all like these the words. Force. Yes. You just you know the force. Okay. You know, so you can use the force <laughs> to read. Seems like there's a lot. I went to see The Matrix. Yeah, it's like that. In my 13th. Well, The Matrix <laughs> is a parable for Zion and Israel. Maybe I'm a Jew. Although, now I'm realizing it. <laughs> I was also, told that by Jews. So it, um, yeah. It's more about just humanity in general. But it, it, it's like if you, if you were a Christian and they're like, okay, your 13th birthday, you have to read this chapter of the Bible to right. a bunch of people. Okay. Yeah. That's, Except you have, to, no you have to learn a whole <laughs> fucking language to do it. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. and, exactly. and you don't understand what it says at all. Yeah. So that's the other thing is you wow. have to learn how to what the letters are and how to pronounce them, but oh. not translate them. Oh, That's just, not part of it. Just, but that has, just that, enough to pretend yeah, like you... Okay. Yeah. If you, yeah. Yeah. Muscles, just, fine. Yeah. you know what? The noise... I have never heard the word the noises, the noises. to describe them, but that's entirely... <laughs> it makes it sound very guttural. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have to sing them. I mean, yeah. have to fucking sing that shit. Oh, I had okay. to sing it, yeah. You did? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't sing oh, it. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Oh, it sounded terrible. It's and, and it happens at a time where all the boys' yes. voice are breaking. Yep. So the, yes. the, the cliche of a bar mitzvah boy is, oh, and all the, all the old men are like, we did this. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a hazing, this is a hazing on a scale never before seen. So You're a genius. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Like, yeah. We did it. You have to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. I've yeah. got a lot of theories. But my parents After. told me that if I would go through with it, that I'd never have to, that I was a man, I could make my own choices, and I would never have to go in a temple again if I didn't want to. <laughs> and with the exception of my little sister's bat mitzvah and a couple of funerals, yeah. I never have. I think I had the same thing, actually. I never fucking have. Yeah, no, I don't go. But you know what I do? The food. Okay. I I make the food now, yeah. and that's my contribution to being a Jew. My, I love my, Jewish food, and I love cooking Jewish food, and I make Jewish. Food. My, I control my the media. Still that's it. my contribution. Your lady, Zach, <laughs> you, Zach's lady, fucking loves my latkes. There, yes, she does. Yeah. I mean, yeah. my latkes are the shit. I like a good latke. My family still does Friday night dinners, although they now live two and a half thousand miles away, so I don't get to go. How convenient. Yeah. yeah. You can come to, you want to do latkes at my place while, I would while love you're to. here? I would love to. Do you to. want to have some Jew food? Yeah. Honest, you should. They're really, yeah, it's good. Really yeah, I love and you got, you, oh, Americans have some Jew food that we don't have in England, so you have stuff like... Um, Ribs? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're quite popular. Ribs. <laughs> We're really reformed down here. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Rugula. Oh, oh yeah. Rug yeah, Rugula. Yeah, yeah. You say Rugula? Yeah, we say Rugula. That doesn't sound yeah. right. I say Rugula. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Are you guys talking about the, like the salad arugula? No, not no. <laughs> not arugula. Okay, uh, arugula is a vegetable. Uh, rugula is a uh, baked good. Okay, that's uh, it's like a roll. It's like uh, you yeah. you take if you took dough, yeah, pastry dough, and you layered it with cinnamon and walnuts and shit, and then you roll it up and baked it. Sounds amazing. Yeah. That's what rugula is. That sounds amazing. It's really it's good. fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. And wow. actually, in L.A., because we have some really talented Jews in this town, there's, like, really high-end Jew food here. Yeah. There's a place that I love called Birdie G's yeah. that is a high-end Jewish restaurant oh, cool. that's fucking fire. Yeah. And I know the chef, Chef Jeremy Fox. This guy's a G. Yeah. And we just went there uh, uh, with uh, Pete Brotman, and we destroyed this place. Their brisket? Oh, my God. You, get, you really get a taste of everything on the what, what the, what's the From Rugula to Marquis. Yeah, so what, what's, the, what's the way that brisket's cooked traditionally? I, well, in Texas, like, it's, like, smoked, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, I have a Jewish, smoker at home. Yeah, and I the do, Jews yeah. do it in the oven with onions okay. and stuff. That's not the right okay. phrasing. It's fucking good. Okay. Yeah, it's, what's not the right phrasing? The Jews do it in the oven? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't ask for the follow-up question either. <laughs> Now that would be Point a fucking James. fucked up and kind of funny T-shirt if you're a Jew <laughs> to wear. Like you geologists know. rock, pro bono lawyers do it for free. Right, yeah. right, right. Like sh yeah. shirts that you can wear if you're a Jew, and if you're not a Jew, it's like whoa, whoa. Do it. You need to look. You need to look more Jewish than any of us look to wear that shirt. Yes. I'm gonna make my son wear it for his permits for Yeah, yeah. You need to be like have pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to have the hat. You know, you need to be people need to look at you and go up uh, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Hasid only shirt. <laughs> anyway.
cars. <laughs> oh, right. That's why we're here. It's, yeah. I mean, my favorite thing about this show is the tangents we take away of from course, cars. Of course. All right, let me, let me jump back to Texas then, because I think cars, cars in America are such, there's such a different perspective here than in England. And I got to Texas, and they were like boys and girls who uh, at 16 got Mustangs with a red bow on it. <laughs> And it was, yeah. it's the most, ins- you guys still don't realize how insane that is. Even sedans are I a weird I do, but concept. a lot of people don't. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, in yeah. England, we have tiny displacement hatchbacks, mm. and that's it. And every, if you go to a school car park, it's a sick form, which is, you know, what do you guys call it? The last, high school. The, what's the last year of high school? Senior year. Senior year. Yeah. Where the, so the people that have cars, it, that whole car park is hatchbacks. Yeah. Without question. And one rich guy has a one series, one two eight or one 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 eight I. Also a hatchback. Also a hatch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can and when I got to Texas I couldn't believe the trucks. I got coal rolled. He did get coal rolled. It's a, it's one of my favorite. It was emotional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He he was in a BRZ. This is actually yeah, yeah, a couple of years later I drove from Toronto to Texas to go visit my old university here yeah. in Texas M. And I got coal rolled by a truck. And he it was bad. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't that a crazy phenomenon? It it felt yeah. so violating. Yeah, I, like to the point where I was genuinely upset. You know they do that like, to cyclists. Oh, that's that's worse. Like they hate worse. cycli- Like the yeah, you have a cabin pre- air filter. Your yeah. presence as a cyclist is so offensive to someone in a truck like that that they will blow soot in your face yeah. to spite your presence. But, that, but that's what I mean. Crazy? The, yeah. the same person that buys that may be buying a Hummer EV. How are they going to coal roll you now? Will they throw coal? Well, that's. Yeah. I wrote an article for the Intercooler for Andrew Frankel and those guys, yeah. and they 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 challenged me. They go, "We'd like you to write a piece for us, and we'd like you to explain to us how those people who buy the big diesel trucks are going to be convinced to buy EVs." And I was like. I give you the Hummer. And I was yeah. like, it has to be even heavier and faster and more antisocial yes. than what they've got, you know, now. That's probably yeah. true. It's the only way it's going to happen, yeah. really. Right. Also, like, well, the speed at some point is good. They're g- Especially with the upcoming like muscle car EVs, right? At some point, tear up the streets. Yeah, that's what Dodge does. That does tear, tear up, the, up streets, the streets quietly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, we're going to save the environment. Also, tear up the streets. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, the Hummer crab crawls. It's got a trick. That's a yeah. cool fucking trick. I'm it's not cool. going to lie. Yeah. That's a cool trick. I've seen clips of it where it just it just. Have you seen it on that what, one it, clip it, it where it does just, the rotation thing? Yeah. Like it's spin in the spot. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. You ever see cool. a truck that does that by accident? That's fun. Yeah, all the time. Well, yeah, Thomas, in LA, you, you got, that's a regular. You crushed a truck like that. What's it? Oh, I uh, I spun a truck off the road. That's different. Not, yeah. not in our tenure of throttle house. No, no, not the spin. But when a truck is crab walking, when a truck's alignment is so fucked up. Oh no! Oh, it's yeah, being yeah. bent and it just goes down the highway, kind of, kind of yeah. sideways. Yeah, yeah. That, that I see clips. Only clips. It's so good. Only in, it's like kind of people of Walmart, but on the, of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> people of Walmart. What a sight that was. I mean, it's going way back. That crab walking thing is an amazing party trick. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like the My Bike GLS with its bounce thing to get you out of a rut. Oh, God, is that fun? Oh, yeah, to get you it's out of a rut. It's all in the name of off road. Yeah. God, is that's that. That's the, yeah, of course. The bouncing thing is for off road. It's to get you out of a rut. Yeah. 100%. That's Our friend Thaddeus was just it. in yeah. Russia uh, for a gig. And he said, interestingly enough, there are there's a shocking number of My Box in Moscow, and they're being used as airport limos. He said he got for like, you know, 80 euro or something, a 30 kilometer transit from his hotel in Moscow to the airport in a Maybach. And I just, I don't understand the math of that. Like maybe they have subsidies like your Canadians do with golf ours <laughs> yeah, with Maybach. Like I'm not sure that works. <laughs> If well, you're in Russia, just, let us know how the Maybach uh, consortium yeah, works. Yeah, they just arrive in a container. Yeah. And they sure they've been yeah. stolen from here. And they, they, <laughs> they go to link it up on their car, and it's like, why Why does it say David's iPhone? Like, it's David's a schmuck, and he... Draw your own you conclusions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Draw your own conclusions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Mybox my are fun, though. They're that really SUV, good. actually, I think, that GLS Mybox makes a lot of sense. It does. It's very And I, right? I said to Thomas, we were in the Bentayga, and first of all, we feel very spoiled. We actually haven't had a car like that as a runaround vehicle, an our crew vehicle, before. And this, so it's been a very spoiled week, and we absolutely appreciate it. It's not, it's not lost on us. But I said to him, for the money, and the, the Bentayga S is 260 US. 
Dude, the Maybach we drove was like 185, yeah. and it was right. dope. It's really and, good. And I, dope. And there's also the Alpina XB7, which is brilliant. That was kind of cool, yeah. too, actually. Yeah. For the price. I, yeah, so it, would it you, actually was, yeah. The Bentayga's a hard purchase, and it still feels very Audi, even though it's got good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think I would take the Maybach, personally. The Maybach, yeah. in that in that price yeah. rate, in that game, that thing is Rear seats luxurious. Are yeah, yeah, and the crazy. curve mode where it curves it in. It leans into the corner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're like, this doesn't feel right, but it works. That thing was, I think it, it might actually be a little underpriced for what for what it is. Yeah. I can't believe yeah. I'm saying that about something that's 190 grand. But, I know, but yeah. Compared, I mean, an Urus yeah. is 270. Yeah. Bentayga's 250. We compared like, that to a Cullinan, like back to back. Yeah, we did the video. GLS versus Cullinan. And, and what's the Cullinan? Four? A lot. It was, it was almost yeah, four, double right? the yeah. money, right? It was double. Yeah. It was double. And, and like, the, the Cullinan has that Rolls Royce level of insulation and ride that the Maybach. Like in any, any other universe, you, you get in the Maybach, you're like, this is just the best that it can be. Yeah. Then you get into a Rolls Royce and you go, okay, no, it can be quieter, it can yeah. be smoother, yeah. it can be more like boss feeling, right? I think the answer is a DBX. But. DBX. No, we, hate no, that. we, we hated, we hated that car. We hated it. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't, you but, know. But, well, you don't have the same roads as us. The, yeah. the ride was. So punishing. Oh, was it? it was yeah, brutal. I, like, I love the interior. It okay, but actually, yeah. the, believe it or not, the Levante Trofeo I thought was was pretty nice to drive. We when you started going. Really, we we love that. Really yeah, that. when you yeah. started yeah. going fast, it was actually that engine was good. great. Yeah. The, the actual driving dynamics. Nobody were fun. took us. There was people like, yeah, they fucking paid you, whatever. Like, yeah, well, like, yeah, actually, we, it's actually, we good. literally got the same type of comments. I think yeah. I said that that is one of the best handling SUVs. Out it there was. Yeah, it was great. Like it feels sharp. But then we drove perfectly. It was great car to drive. Then we drove. That, we drove that Ghibli. Ghibli, Ghibli. Ghibli, Ghibli. We still don't know how to say it. Yeah. Ghibli. What, what's the drink? Ghibli. Is it, it Giblet? It's a Giblet. Uh, Gimlet. Gimlet. Gib- giblets are what come out of a turkey's yes. ass. And, and Gimli. <laughs> that, and those are giblets. So, oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jesus. A <laughs> Gimlet is the drink. A giblet is a bird's internals. Organs, yeah. And the Ghibli is a Maserati. Right. And, okay. and a Gimli is a small dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> with an axe. Yeah. Anyway, we drove, the, axe. we drove the Ghibli and it was it was overpriced. It was 140 grand. The, it drove well, whoa. man. Good noises. Was it the Trofeo? The trofeo. Oh, yeah. the Trofeo. Okay, and it just, yeah. it was overpriced. We said it was overpriced and Maserati weren't too happy with us. Um, but yeah. we, I think we were quite nice about the the I've forgotten the Levante Levante yeah. yeah and they weren't sure if they wanted to give us the MC20 because it's a bit of a risk and uh, well the MC20 is actually quite good which is I, I mean, think why they're throwing us the keys yeah, yeah I but, mean I'm not afraid. <laughs> the MC20 is like okay we're now we're, yeah. t- we're taking them seriously now well it's yeah. scary it's scary to give us the keys right because we, you know we have a large audience we might say some shit. We might do a sketch at their co- at the cost, you know, of their reputation. We yeah. likely will do a sketch at the cost. Yeah. Fear us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We 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 don't we don't lie about the cars, right? So we're we just we just kind of tell it how it is, and then yeah. and then get in trouble later. So hopefully, so yeah. we I just hope said it's good. nice things about Maserati in the past. I'm sh- yeah. I'm, I mean, we we were I was. I was impressed with the Levante, but but other than that, I've shat on the Ghibli for years, yeah. and I shat on the Quattro Porte for years before that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, you know what I mean? And yeah. but they were they were nice enough to invite us out. They're conf- they seem very confident in their product, and it's good. a nice product. That's yeah. good. I feel like, I feel like there is a kind of a progression going on with the PR reps, and a lot of people say to us, you know, why? Especially sometimes we do owner cars or dealer cars. They're like, why haven't the why isn't the manufacturer giving you this car? And we're like, well. The timing didn't work, or they wouldn't let us track it. Yeah. So we'll just do what we need. And, but they are, they are kind of they're coming around. Especially coming Canada. around. Come yeah. Canada, coming it's around. not. It was sometimes. It sometimes it just takes like a specific PR person to like move on to another job and like a new person to yeah. come yeah. in. And thankfully, there's a ton of turnover. <laughs> yeah. <there's, laughs> yeah. <laughs> in some of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love all the ones, all our PR apps apart from the ones we don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's happened before. I, I, I've th- I have literally thought that entire companies had me banned from shit before. And yeah, it turns it's out it's radio one, silence, right? It turns out it's one person yes, yeah. exactly. that, that, that is not about it. Yeah. I'm you pretty know? sure we've lost. person moves on. Yeah, I think we've lost Audi Canada. I think that's gone. Really? Yeah. But Audi USA are lovely people. Don't so know what we did. We worked with them. We've had, we've had a good pretty 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 strong pretty strong relationships with manufacturers. I think we yeah, yeah. you guys get a, get a lot of cars from private owners or from um like secondhand dealers it seems like like prestige import Yeah, kind some, of dealers. just yeah, sometimes we we specifically search out or seek out cars. Got so, it. you know, I yeah. want to drive that thing. Where do we find it? Yeah. Where is it? That's where it is. I guess that's where we're taking it from, right? Yeah, cool. we've definitely got to where we are on the kindness of owners and dealers. We Our preference is still, you know, no offense to them, is a press car because 
the one the risk is far more mitigated we have longer with the car for all the obvious reasons but yeah we've had some we've worked with some great owners and, and the car car enthusiasts as a whole are a very helpful inclusive bunch yeah so, I, I like press cars because I don't have to worry about the car. You know, that, that yeah. car. Oh, yeah. And we worry. Yeah. I, almost, oh, yeah. I spun out on a Ford GT. <laughs> yeah. 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 That car, was that car on 17 year old tires? Yeah. It was, but we what didn't. What are you doing? Why did you do that? Well, we, did, we, we didn't know. We didn't know. Didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah, so, you got to check. Yeah, I Those know. Those kind of cars, well, you got to okay, check. So the, so the tires of that car, we were, our plan with that and the LFA was uh, we, we shipped Michelin tires to them to put on the car beforehand. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I could tread some tires in the LFA or whatever it is, right? But they couldn't get, we couldn't get the sizing for the Ford GT. And they're very tough, very tough tires to, find, to come right? by. I've and had to find them for our clients, and they basically don't exist. Exactly. So, yeah. we, so we and then they had they said we have another set, and you can roast these, right? So in the, the in the insanity of you know a team of five people doing these two big films across the country with flights and everything, I was like, all right, cool, oh, great, we got tires, good. Go you to assumed the that they were. I assumed that they decent. were fine. Right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, they they didn't check, or maybe they didn't know. Uh, to, to, to know to, to know that yeah. you shouldn't have tires that old, right? And so as soon as that ha well, I was driving and I was like, God, oh, this is a little bit slick, but it was wet, no traction control, ton of horsepower, big yeah. displacement. And I was like, that's probably how the car is. James spun out, pooed Ooh. his pants, and then I got out and was like, oh, oh, yeah. Well, it fit the yeah. narrative of what we were going for because Thomas, it, it starts with Thomas not wanting to drive in the rain. He's like, James, just go drive up the track for me. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then it actually happened. And it and actually then, happened. It actually spun if, out. Zach, if I send you a clip, you, can you play that to the, on the, to the audience on yeah, the main screen? Yeah, drop it in. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, is it you're gonna show the whole clip? Can we do it? Is that okay? All right. Yeah. L okay. Let me let me preface this. Okay. So no one has seen the in car of when it. There's a break in the actual video between when the spin starts and the spin ends, or, or, or after the spin. And the reason that's the case is because for logistics reasons, for checking audio reasons, we're a small team. Oftentimes, Thomas is in the car with me, and I'm in the car with him. Uh -huh. the big secret revealed. All right. Yeah. Well, in this particular case, it was because we were having audio. So issues, you're saying so. production happens. Yes. Production happens. Production yes. happens. Yes. Shocking. So, so yeah. Thomas Shocking. is actually in the car with me when this happens. When, when we spun. And we had yeah. to silence his expletives because he's he's swearing. Yeah. What's the, how can I send you a is it a text? Is that the best way? Uh, it might not work for the live try, show, but send it to Zach and we'll drop yeah, it in so the we'll main. Try, we'll drop it in try the main. airdropping it to my phone. We'll if see you can airdrop can it, maybe we can oh, do okay. it. Yeah, while well, well, you look for it. Yeah, so basically in this particular situation, I did happen to be in the car. And I felt it. It was absolutely out of his control. He had no chance. Well, that's what happened. There was, yes. a, there was old a slip. tires. Yep. I mean, that's yep. that's that's and, the and thing. And so, what we don't actually know is, <clears throat> so after this happened, I went and did my in car bit, and I was by myself because James was literally having a tea and warming up and being afraid. <laughs> um, and in the exact same spot, I almost lost it in the same way. So there might have been like an oil slick or something there, right? Yeah. But, but for the most part, the tires did feel fine, right? But like honestly, like. Do not mess with old tires. Like the thing PSA, with old tires uh, is this: they're fine until they're not. Absolutely, and you you yeah. have abs. You could be the best driver in the world. Doesn't matter. I mean, and to yeah. to 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 go back to 2013 with Roger Rodas and Paul Walker in a Carrera GT. Yep. Roger was a world challenge racing driver. Mm -hmm. He wasn't like just some f nobody. Yep. Like he had ra he had proper racing experience. Yep. He had a lot of cars, he had a lot of experience. Um, and I know the corner where those guys crashed. And yes, they were speeding according to the fucking law. Yep. But you could take that corner at 100 miles an hour in a Prius no question. Yep. No question. Yep. Yeah. But those that that was a that was a Carrera GT with ten year old tires on it, original tires, and you just you have grip right up until you don't. Yeah. And you have zero control over when that grip goes away and how far it's gone. It's the rubber yeah. compound that yeah. gives the, the, the smooth breakaway characteristics yeah. of the car, right? Like, the scary thing is as well. It's just from a log logistics perspective. We had organized this huge trip. This was the beginning of the day. We were filming the LFA. This I thought I had ruined everything. I'd yeah. flown everyone out, and it was a, to a great expense. And I thought, oh my god, I've ruined everything. And now we're all in that moment. Yeah. Uh, and I apologize for the quality of the clip. This is me filming the camera after we watched it, so it's not color graded. And the oh, sound no, is bad. we're not. We're not interested in any of that. Zach is working just keep on giving, it, but, yeah, keep, but yeah. it's okay. it's um it just every time I go to a car show, yeah, whether it's a Radwood or a Cars and Coffee, or a Concourse, I have to stop someone and go, hey man, your shit is 
out of spec. Yeah. This last week, past weekend in Malibu, when I saw you, yeah. there was a SLR McLaren parked in a handicap spot. The tires were from 2009. Oh dear! So the weekend before that, I was up. I was somewhere, and the car, and I found tires from 2011. You know, I went to Radwood and I found tires that were so old. Yeah, they didn't have date codes on them. Oh, God. and I went, dude, you need to put new tires in this car. And he yeah. goes, Well, it's not my daily driver. Go, you drove it here. Yeah, there's yeah. no trailer. It doesn't matter. All you need to do <laughs> yeah, is like, drive it once. Just yeah, like, Oh, it's not your daily driver. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. not a really good excuse. All right, so we yeah. have we have a video, Zach. Yeah. Yes, we do. We All right, let's 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 see. Thirty five second video. These moments define you as a human. Yeah. He's talking about the car. Whoa. Oh, wow. You have pooped. Poo has come out. Oh, your eyes are so Oh, big. wow. Your eyes are wait, wide wait, as wait, fuck. Wait, wait. Oh, no. It's frozen. Oh, it <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's a big hug. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <a> big <laughs> hug. It him a big hug. Because uh, you haven't died because, there. Well, oh. no, no. Honestly, that had nothing to do with dying. It was we did not. We just yeah. didn't hit the wall yeah. and no. stuff like yeah. half a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. fear. It was not a physical injury fear. It was. It was. I those can't, cars in so the wet are we very, very hairy to begin with. Back oh, yeah. in the day when I worked at the, <laughs> at the rental strange, company there, yeah. at Gotham yeah. Dream Cars, we had yeah. a Ford GT. And it was the best car we fucking had. It yeah. never went out because people didn't want to pay twenty five hundred a day for a Ford. Every time it was driven in the rain, it was crashed. Wow. Every it was crashed five times. Every time it was driven in the rain, it was crashed. I loved it though. I really well, loved that best, car. One of the best cars special. ever made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I in really the dry on good tires. There is very few things that are better than if that. If that car. had if that had a price with a one before it and not a four or a five, I would find a way to buy that car. You know they you, couldn't you sell them a million, new. Right? I know there was huh? cash yeah. on the yeah, moon. Yeah, oh like wait, you're talking about the new one. No, no, no talking I'm about? talking about the old one. That no, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's four hundred or five hundred thousand now. But that, that when it was new, they they were one hundred forty nine thousand dollars new, and they couldn't sell them, and there was cash on the hood. You could yeah. buy them at a discount. Well, I had just been permitsford, but I didn't get enough permits for money. <laughs> otherwise, I would have bought it. If you grew up where I did, you'd have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was born on the street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yes. This is a classic story. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, we've got uh, that. Yeah. That's fucking scary. That's yeah. Very that's scary. scary. Genuine yeah. fear. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I, hopefully the frame rate's better in the yeah, I'll drop it into the edit and it'll be fine okay. yeah. I think it was playing from it was streaming off yeah. of Google Drive to our live it was a, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah. one has seen that clip by no the way seen that clip. and we, yeah. we said that one day we would say and everyone's exclusive. wondering exclusive well, yes. well, you were yeah. the exclusive we saved it for you yeah, yeah. that was that was that was a moment and I mean, I mean usually I go out with these cars it was teeming with rain and then it dried up a bit and then it was teeming with rain that day it was a whole mess but like usually I go out and you know drift these cars around whatever they are right and there wasn't very many good corners to this particular track but Usually, I'm doing second or third gear slides yeah. in the Ford GT. These were first gear slides. These were like eight yeah. mile an hour, the most like, hilariously yeah. slow slides you've ever yeah. seen. I was, this is, this is, I was like, I'm, I'm on, on, on ice. It yeah. felt like ice, yeah. right? Well, what's great is you throw into slow mo, and everyone's like, wow, he's fucking no, awesome. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's yeah. ripping yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't one of those, like, well, that's a high speed drift, Thomas. No. But those, you know, that, that car in 2005 compared to either a 360 or a 430 or a, a, a Mercy or a, a Gen 1 Gallardo. I mean, yeah. that car is a rock star compared, yeah. To, yeah. compared to those and cars. And it, lo so it looks special. like nothing else. It's amazing. It's like it's two so inches yeah. off the pavement. Yeah. It's so mm -hmm. cool. It has, and yeah. it's just like the Stupid gearbox doors. is so slick. Oh, he, he, he still it. talks about it. I love that. Do you know what a gearbox costs for one of them? No, a Graziano transaxle for one of them is yeah. like thirty thousand dollars. Of course, you have to replace one. I they don't it. exist. I love no. that gearbox. Yeah. It's my favorite gearbox. In it's, fact, we have an episode coming up where we did a little discussion of. Well, it's a bit of spoiler because we haven't mentioned this yet, but we tried to build the best car we could by choosing in isolation each element uh -huh. with no con concept or consideration for the rest. So it, it doesn't, it, so we choose our favorite gearbox, choose our favorite Engineering engine. doesn't matter here. Yeah, right, 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 the, yeah. the transmission doesn't want. need to match or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I think, without giving too much away, I think the gearbox, we, no, we didn't choose it because it was old. We had to choose new cars. It had to be within like the last couple and it had to be years. Less than, and it had to be from a car that. that was less than 200,000. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that won't so, work. And, and then when, when we got uh, Sketch Monkey, if you've ever heard of the YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. We asked him to render what we discussed. That's and, pretty and hilarious. He did it in the, like the Homer. So <laughs> yeah. I, I won't give away, but it, it was amazing. And it, it kind of, 
it was a fun exercise. So you guys should, we should do it. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I think that does sound interesting. Yeah, if we come yeah. back, if you, yeah, if you yeah, want yeah, to, yeah, we need time yeah. to think about that. But I think that could be good. Yeah. Oh no, 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 you're gonna do it on the fly. No, we did it on oh, the fly. On the fly. You're like, you're like, what's, what's, what's your favorite steering? What's your favorite engine? What's your favorite? Yeah, yeah. Well, we've differential. Got, we've what's got your, yeah. questions from our Patreon that people ask us to come up with shit on the fly, and yeah, sometimes sure. it's very hard. Yeah, uh, we got a, we had a few. I'm sure we got a lot. A lot. Um, oh, we you? have. We have not all the time in the world, so we'll try to get we'll try to get rid of uh, or get through as many get rid of sure. excuse me Jonathan, I'm slip of the Jonathan tongue. Thanks. Uh, let's get through as many as we can from our patreoncom slash the smoking tire. Thank sure. you to all of our patrons. If you guys haven't done a Patreon yet, I recommend it. Um, Alan says Jamison Thames, uh, <laughs> how was the experience of driving and filming the LFA? And for Matt and Zach, if you had a go in well, one, I have had a go in one. I found it was delightful. It yes. is one of the Just most wonderful. amazing yeah. vehicles. I was was about filming it. Yeah, it was it was a difficult, stressful, rainy day. And it was after the spin in the four GT. So yeah, it was yeah a we we in the end it came together. Karsten did an amazing edit on that yeah. thing, and and our sound guy Harrison did drive it. He did end up driving it. Yeah. So the, the sketch at the beginning was about him being it, really excited about. We we tricked him and it, told him we weren't filming it, and then he showed up. It was yeah. a great moment. Yeah. yeah. It, was really yeah. Good. It, made, it made his life. It made his life. I yeah. And he, and he did get to drive it. So for everyone that was yeah. wondering, That's yeah. Awesome. My experience with that car was great. I had uh, Scott Pruitt, the racing driver. He gave me gave me some getting to know you laps at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and then yeah. I got to have a go after that. Yeah. And um, having seen what he could do with it, I felt a little more comfortable driving it. Really. really Really, pretty hard. It was forty thousand mile car. It was the pre- uh, the 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 black press car yeah. that a lot of people got to drive in. What a fine piece of engineering! Yeah, that I, I, I still struggle is. with the million dollar price tag, but yeah, but I mean, the engine is like you nothing. Kind of get ever. it. You yeah. kinda I know get it's just it. unobtainium though. And yeah, it's, it, yeah. But, but actually, for a, a more affordable version, LC five hundred is pretty great. It's pretty awesome. Pretty it great. Is pretty awesome. And yeah. it, and it, it's and just it, a cru- it, that's a cruiser though. That it gets car. it is, but it yeah. gets the vi- it gets the vibe yeah. for a, a oh, lot absolutely. less money. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Nathan wants to know if Thomas's fall off the ladder in the FJ Cruiser video was real. Um, well, I did actually fall off the ladder, and I realized how can I turn this into a joke. So then, then I then I did. Well, I, sorry, yes, I did actually physically fall off and land on the ground, and then and then switch into push-ups to try and cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought I it was quite funny. That's very yeah. American of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I watched it with the rest of the audience, and I thought it was very funny. Yeah. I thought it worked. That is hyper-masculine. I didn't fall. Yeah. I'm just going to push up. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean Finney uh, wants our thoughts on classic European roadsters like the Triumph, Spitfire, Alpha, Spider, Lotus, Elon, etc. from a driving experience and classic car ownership perspective because they seem like an affordable way to get into the classic car ownership experience. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any personal experience with the other two, but I do have a, a 72 Spider, and it has been my most reliable car I've ever really? owned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't want, I, where's the wood? Got a knock on it. But yeah, it's it's a lovely little car, and I think that nothing compares to that kind of era of, you know, just little roadsters. I absolutely love them, and I don't think I'll ever sell that car. And it was an affordable way to get into classic cars. Yeah, sure. it was. A, it was about like twenty grand, right? And it's pristine, and I love it. And I'm. Is it like a, It's like a duetto or something, or it's uh, a it's a series two. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's a seventy-two, so it's got, it's got the, it's the cam tail, right? Oh, okay. it, doesn't, it doesn't have the sloping back, right? But it's got it's the two-liter engine, and it has the nizione, the uh, the injection, the the speaker fuel injection. But I'm going to convert. Very, it to, they're very pretty, though. They're very, yeah, I'm, I'm going to convert it to carbs at some point and do some alpha holics mods. I'm going to talk, talk myself into that. Nice. But. I drove one of those once. It was slow as shit, but it was really fun and sounded great. Exactly. It's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, JD says, was the I-8 Roadster get in helmet spawned from an earlier blow to the head? I don't know that one. So we, we have this clip in the in our I-8 versus uh, Polestar, one. Polestar 1 video where uh, James explains how to get into the I-8. It's, it's actually quite def- difficult to get in, and he puts a helmet on, and he bonks his head getting oh. in. And it's a big bonk. It's a big bonk. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, did he damage the car? And that clip has gone Every I feel like I'm in a, every woke movie right now, gone viral. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think probably 50 million people have seen it. Certainly really? the tic, yeah. the TikToks alone add up to like 50. Front page on Reddit a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't, the question is, did it spawn from an earlier bonk to the head? As in, was the idea because I hit my head? No. Well, I think yeah, we were living with the car. And we're like, this is really hard to get into. And it James is. is like, I feel like I need a helmet or something. And we're like. We sent Greg go and get a, any helmet. Yeah, we got a kid's, It was like a kid's baseball helmet. Yeah, and um, it fit James perfectly. Which is nice because I got to live a youth that I never experienced. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
<laughs> it was fun. I didn't like the i8 very much. It didn't do anything it's for me. It's just, I think we called it the weirdest way to spend 150 grand. Which, yeah. But we also gave the Polestar 1 that same title because I think that's still a struggle. We, we ran out of EV on it when we went to the press drive. And then all and of a sudden it was a giant it, front wheel drive. Yeah, it became yeah. a front wheel drive, <laughs> yeah. four cylinder. It like, was just oh, a bit like, okay. All of a sudden the magic went away really quickly. Mm. Chris yeah. Harris bought the press car. He did. Yeah. yeah. yeah and did. I offered to buy the press car in America, too. It's it one stunning. of the most beautiful things ever made. I've, 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 really I don't think it. I've ever been stopped more driving anything really? than it's that just, car. Yeah, it was cool. It's yeah. jaw dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm driving, I'm doing a, a road and track event. Go to roadandtrack.com slash experiences if you want to drive with me in March. I'm leading a, a, a cavalcade of sports cars oh, through nice. Northern California and they've provided me another one to Ooh, drive. But but it is a weird way to spend $150,000 yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I know some people who bought i8s and they loved them. Yeah, and you can like, get them for 60 grand. Yeah, yeah, the people who owned them seem to really be into them yeah. but the journalists were all kind of... Meh. I didn't dislike it. I just thought it was a bit... Yeah. yeah, I think I drove it too long. When if I drove it in 2014 when it came out, I probably would have thought it was really cool. I drove it in 2019 and I was like, well, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Byrne wants to know how the Cadillac Black Wings driving experience compares against the Ford Shelby GT500. Trying to decide between the two cars for a fun weekend street car. The, the hmm. Black Wing can settle down. The GT500 can't. Yeah, yeah. The black and, and, and not in a bad softer. way. The GT500 is fucking mental. GT500 is a rowdy. Oh, I love that car. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Also, you can get a black wing and stick, which yes. is obvious, but that needs to be said. That's the great differentiator between those two, I think, for me. Yeah. I would, if I wanted to run my own gears. Also, personally, I mean, I thought I thought the, the uh, black wing is a bit more fun to drive. I I'm in the way that I like to drive cars. Yeah. Right. The, the Shelby felt a little bit more serious for track work. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, re- right? it 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 darted about a bit with yes. the with the wide front tires. You yes. gotta you gotta really. Pay attention to the steering. Yep. Meanwhile, yeah. you're not rowing your own gears, whereas yeah. the black wing could be a little more relaxed on the steering. Yeah. But you're you're doing more and fun things. You can things. just pull off hilarious skids in it, and yeah. it's so easy to do. I love that thing. Yeah, I love black yeah. wing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh boy, we got a whole lot. That, I don't want to read all those words. Sorry, bud. Uh, wow. I just, I, geez, geez, there's too many words. There's too many words. <laughs> That's effort. That's effort uh, from your Patreon. Uh, I'm talking about beef. You can uh, message, message Jackson us. wants to know, for James, how did you find the Canadian work vi- visa to PR? This is the one you'd rather tackle? <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Get rid of that. You can message me independently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really about that. Jackson, just DM keep, James. Keep going, yeah. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We don't want to talk about that. Uh, oh, here we go. James, your time in the GR Yaris. How do you think it will translate to GR Corolla? Mm. Um, yeah, so I I, the, I struggle with the GR Yaris because I don't think Americans actually want it as much as they think they do. It feels very, very cheap inside, and it's a big price tag. Well, it's a Yaris. I don't know if they've told you this, but yeah. it is a Yaris. It is a Yaris. <laughs> yes. Uh, I actually drove it, I drove it in England, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. it's a Yaris. Yeah. Um, and uh, how do I think it will translate though? I think it will translate favorably. Like if you if you like that sort of thing, it will work. Uh, I don't think how much heavier is it? I don't think it's that much heavier, is it? And how much lo- how much longer is the wheelbase of a Corolla hatch versus a Yaris? It can't be it can't be crazy. It's probably eight to ten inches. Okay, well, that's huge. GR Corolla, Corolla should be should be good. GR Corolla should be pretty the, the, good. The, yeah. the strong point of that car is the really fun turbocharged 106 engine. Hundred six inches wheel, one hundred six point three. Oh, so it's only five. Yeah. Five inches. So I think not that much. I think it will translate fine. That's actually a lot, depending on who you ask. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I was trying yeah. to be clean, but okay. Yeah, that's double. Um, <laughs> I, I, think, I think it will translate well. I just don't think Americans double. want it. I don't think Americans want it, and I don't think they're going to want it for 40 grand or whatever it's going to be. But I'm still really interested in it. And uh, Five circumference. Anyway, you can drive it like a lunatic. You can drive it like a lunatic, and it grips. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had to go in a Yaris, a really, or GR Yaris. Have you driven really. the Fiesta ST? Uh, yeah. Do you okay. think this scratches that similar itch where it's like small compact hatchback that's just so fun to drive that it, it just supersedes its cheapness and everything else and people came to love it? Like, I know America's hard to sell hatches. I then, think the Veloster N does a better job than the Yaris. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think the Veloster N gets enough credit. Oh, the Veloster N's great. Good, yeah. Great really car. nice. That, that's the Fiesta ST itch. It, it is. is. Yeah. 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 I was just wondering if the Yaris was like a similar thing where people who are normally not into hatches would buy a cheap hatch because it's so fun. But Yeah, I mean, people buying Yaris is because it's also the GR is because the values are holding and there's hype around it. So mm. I, I think it's it's good. It's just, it feels very specific. It feels like, I think my review was, I didn't experience this car because I didn't rally it. It feels like it's, it's like a WRX. It needs to go on loose surface to have the most fun with it. And that's mm. not true for the Veloster N. Mm. 
That's good. That's a detailed response. Yeah. Scott Hamill says, uh, Thomas and James, the Miata RF GT in Canada is over 50000 when it's said and done. Is it a $50,000 driving experience? Fuck no. No, but you don't need to get the RF. Get the soft up. Save yeah, some get money. the soft up, save the money, and then yes, it, it absolutely works. Okay, money. your Instagram won't be as, as picturesque, but you'll have more fun. Yeah. Uh, Matt Cheseldean, it's hard to tell in the video how close was the Tesla Plaid from going off the track in the Plaid versus 1100 horsepower GTR video. It, it, was, it, it wasn't that close. It's the closest it's ever been. But the same day, the to o- going what off the end of off the, the end of, our, of yeah. our half well, mile. Well, it, it was like a couple car lengths, like a car length. No, if you Oof. if you break steadily, if you slap. No, it wasn't that close. It wasn't that close. No, no, the, 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 on the third or fourth run, that one time yeah. when I oh the the end rushed up quicker than any car we've ever had. Yes, and in the in the distance. Yeah, that, that I, and I then, was and then the, seven car lengths later than I normally am in any other car. Yeah, and the owner yeah. the owner of the white one wanted to do a few runs himself. And I warned him. I was like, just break early. And he went straight right off, off the edge. Right That's off the edge. hilarious. Into yeah. the grass, in the yeah. mud, and yeah. we were like, yeah, yeah, that happened. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you were driving it when it happened. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. 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 So, dude, back in the day when I. Used used to drive people's car personal cars I had a real system for for doing shit and I would I would shoot details of the cars and then I have the owners drive the cars for drive-by shots and I would film it small. and some yeah. people would want to fucking really get on it yeah and I had a guy f- I, in a MGB fucking almost have an enormous accident oh, no. after going way too hot no. through through a corner and yeah. to show off to me <laughs> it was and i was like at least it was him yeah exactly you know? yeah uh richard wakefield what cars have been the most different in their canadian spec versus american spec i don't necessarily know this one things like the civic si which was missing tons of features in the american version the, yeah the civic si is the one that jumps out the most that's like the most the, is did, it? did you yeah. know about this the canadian no. civic si we have shift lights as uh, above the dash you know like a mclaren oh really yeah. and we have fog lights and heated seats heated yeah, steering wheel. Can't even, yeah but i, I oh. can't think of anything beyond the civic si that was that aggressive no that's the most obvious example there's the yeah. new one the brand the new, new one the new yeah. civic yeah. SI. i liked the new civic si yeah. actually, i thought I re- it was pretty good i yeah, really enjoyed it you're paying the same and we get way more really yeah know that uh daxa if you were given 100k to make eat a video on top of your existing budget what would you do differently we'd celebrate that we actually have a budget yeah, yeah. We, we've discussed yeah. this and it, the answer is we would arrive in a chinook we'd, yeah. <laughs> we'd just like and then be like go oh damn it that's where all the money went. that's the yeah. budget yeah <laughs> i'd make the same video but take a gulf stream there uh, yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> The, 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 we would blow it immediately and screw the whole thing up. Yes. The, the real answer is we would fund international adventures more. Yes, yeah. we, we would travel somewhere. By more, yeah. we, we don't do it at all. I yeah. mean, <laughs> traveling is fucking crazy expensive. Yeah. We want to do a Japan film. We want to do England film. Yeah. You know, we're still going to do it. It's just going to be more on a shoestring. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Um, how long are you guys uh, sticking around in, in town for? You're here for a little while, right? Thomas is here till Sunday. Here till Sunday. Oh, that's it. And then he comes back in a week. Seventh to the, oh, okay. yeah, in a, yeah, in a week. And James okay. lives here now, basically. And you're, <laughs> buying, and you're <laughs> buying a home in Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> no, I bloody not, not on that highway. It's yeah. out. No, I know. <laughs> but I told you about Ojai. You should check that out. You did. You yeah. did. Um, it's still, everything's expensive. But no, I'm I'm, no, I'm only here till. For you, but sunshine's free. Yeah. yeah, I'm here till February the fifteenth. Oh, cool. All right, so we'll we'll do some other stuff then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not um, Zach and I are going to, to Colorado next week to do the Bridgestone Ice Driving School. Oh, that sounds yeah. fun. Oh, Which should be that pretty sounds fun. Yeah, that yeah, really it should be a good time. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Fun. But uh, you know, good vibes tomorrow, and then uh, Malibu on Sunday, and, and that's it. It's yeah. been fun. I really appreciate you guys coming down. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Great. I imagine we'll do some t- fucking decent numbers on this one. Be a good one. Maybe. We'll, we'll yeah. post you to well, everywhere we've got. Yeah. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. What is, before you get out here, what is that watch you're wearing? I've been looking at it. It's cool. Uh, is this it? is a, a Yema. Oh, it's Superman. Yema. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're French, right? They're it's from French. French. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, in-house it's a neat movement. piece. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of, it's yeah. Kind of fun. I enjoy it. It was cheap, so yeah. I just wanted something with a, with a GMT function. So they get a lot yeah. of uh, of cred on the internet. It's a popular it, well, they're like, on the I forums. I think they're, like, they're crowdfunded a bit, right? Yeah. The, the customer service isn't amazing, and it's definitely well, not like French. Cr- cr- uh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, we were eating cheese. And yeah, we just, uh, can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, it's not crazy accurate, but it's cool, so it seems durable. Yeah, no, it looks. I yeah. like it. It looks. It looks cool. That's a yeah. fun one. Yeah, neat. All right, cool. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We appreciate you spending time with us tonight, and uh, I'm going to go home and make pizzas for Chris and James Han's birthday. That's what they're waiting on me for, and uh, we'll see you all uh, Sunday. 
Uh, is it when is this coming out, Zach? This week? Next week? Next week? Next week? Tuesday. Uh, well, that'll that Sunday event will have already happened, so I hope it went well. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we'll try and meet up with uh, with Throttle House guys and do some more shit later 